welcome along to episode 9 of the Forgotten Realms Maxi Campaign, where we are visiting the Sunder Citadel. Um, ween, 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 we left off. Um, we had <laughs> just, uh, we just entered the Citadel proper. And today I have playing with me, Moon. Oh shit, I'm first. <laughs> You're also Moon. Who are you playing? Uh, hi, uh, I'm Moon, I'm um, our... Forest Gnome, Cleric Druid. I have Oscar. Hello, I'm Oscar, or Salty. I'll be playing Bellinor Willowind, the Wood Elf, Bard of Creation. I have Josh. Hi, guys. My name is Jamal. I'm going to be playing <laughs> Thornum today. He's a deep stone rock gnome. Um, what is he? <laughs> Barbarian? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got pretty far in there. That was pretty okay, good. In all seriousness, yeah. uh, Josh, who are you yeah, playing? No, today? Um, I'm Josh. Uh, I'm Josh um, and uh, I will be playing uh, Theodore Edison, who is a rock gnome artificer with his best friend and lifelong companion and wife, uh, Sarah. Without Until she gets turned into scrap. And I have Jamalius. Hey guys, it's Jamal here. Today, I will be playing. Thornum, the dwarf fighter, battle master. That. I didn't know you could be more Jamal than you just became. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Jamal here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as I said, we when we what is with me? I'm going weed. Um, <laughs> we. <laughs> I just like really want to go we. When uh, we left off, we had just entered the Citadel proper. I've accidentally closed roll 20, and I'm opening it now. Good uh, job, guys. Oosh, Oosh Good job. Oosh manoosh. We're in the dungeon. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We're over there. Okay, cool. Um, so, I believe we had just cleared out this Skeletonian room down here. And I hand over to these idiots. I don't anything. You killed some skeleton archers in a little room on their own um, that were pretty shit. There were two pathways we could take, yes. Yeah, one down south and one north. north. Uh, southwest and one to the northwest. Yes. Sorry, I've just realised I haven't opened the book yet. <laughs> so when you were like, there's two pathways, I was like, eh, maybe. I don't know, map looks like it. I had seven minutes while I was shoveling food down my gob, and you were That's still not said, prepared. Man. I was I said bored he wasn't ready. of your inner what was you Jamal, what was you eating? We had some uh, chicken with uh, some onion rings on the side, some um, garlic and herby type chips and beans. It's all lovely little thrown together thing, just because I was stressed as fuck and wanted some comfort food. Chips and beans, how British of you. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Seriously, though. Like, uh, yes, there are two doors. Alright, okay, I would like to go up to the bottom door and, uh, investigate. Usually people go down to the bottom door, but you can go up if you want. Um, as you approach this well, door... I'm going to um, up to it. It is, a, it is a solid wooden door. Uh, it doesn't appear to be locked. Uh, and if you listen closely at the door, go ahead and give me a perception check. I am not the world's best of perception, so That's that okay. is one missing at the door. a solid failure. Um, a solid failure, he says. That's uh, a four. A four, okay. Um, so behind here, you are able to hear that there are rocks. They're not moving. Huh. Hear rocks? <laughs> yes, true. the point is, is you can't hear shit. Um, yeah. yeah. However, uh, if you wish, you may go on in. Um, yeah, I um. So, door's got a handle, right? It's not just yeah. like a just shove it straight through thing, right? And you as know, you uh, creak it on open, um, you look in. Uh, the room appears to be room. empty. The masonry walls of this twenty-foot-wide hall are in pretty poor repair. There's rubble on the ground. The far end has even collapsed, filling the southern section with rubble. Uh, the western wall, however, is mu in much better shape than the other walls, and it holds a stone door. Upon the stone door is a rearing dragon carved in relief. The door has a single keyhole situated in the rearing dragon's open mouth. 
Did anyone pick up a key at any point? No. No? I don't think so. Did not. Alright, just wanted to check. Thought we hadn't. Um, yeah, it looks like that door down there is locked. So, um, yeah, I would, uh, think the other way is the correct way to go. As you look at said door that appears to be, uh, well, I mean, you, you're saying you, it appears to be locked. You've looked at a door and it appears to be locked. It has a keyhole in it, that's how he's, so, that's yeah. so he's It has a keyhole key. in it, so that would uh, imply that it's locked. Or unlocked. I mean, that would imply that it can be locked. Yes. It probably is. Okay, you can try it if you want. Yeah, Could I think you wrong? should do that. Um... Bellanor, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. And uh, Theodore, give me an Investigation check, please. That's pretty. Um, 21. A 21. This door appears to have the Arcane Lock spell cast upon it. Um, 25. This spell appears to have the Arcane Lock spell cast upon it. Um, you would have to use some form of magic to make the door easier to open. Uh, the door is also locked mechanically, and it's a difficult lock with over seven tumblers. You would expect that uh, a thief must be incredibly dexterous to achieve opening this door. Gentlemen, I could insult this door all day, but it doesn't seem that it will unlock unless somebody has a magical means. So we'd need both ways to open it, or just the magical means? Uh, or got a 21, correct? Yes. Um, you would think that the key would disable both forms of lock. Okay. Um, well, then why don't we go find the key? As you guys are discussing this and standing close to the uh, door, uh, you hear a scurrying and a squeaking behind you. Um, and two giant rats maneuver their way out of the rubble towards you as they have decided oh. that you look tasty. Oh boy. Uh, go ahead and roll mischief. Oh, I switched characters and all of a sudden my initiative on the multiple means shit. Oh shit, what's happened? Where's my hey, battle music going? I roll initiative instead of intelligence, so I think that's a 22 instead of a 17. Well then, where's my battle music going? Oh fuck this me. Is so fucking loud. Okay, give fuck? me a second, guys, please. Yeah. For some reason, it's removed all my battle music from my playlist. That's really Wait a fucking minute, annoying. you rolled an initiative oh, of 17 and it didn't show up at all on roll 20. Josh, hmm. have you got your. Yeah, I think it's because um, when I rolled, I accidentally went backwards on roll 20. Oh, before I. I yep. Yeah. yeah, that might do it. Okay, yeah. um, yep, just bear with me a That's second, I'm just adding a bunch of, uh, of battle music. Um, so that we have some, uh, some music, because right now we don't have any. How many rats did you, how many rats did you say there were? Two. Two. Six hundred rats. Right, <laughs> six hundred rats. How I'm many rats? I'm genuinely amazed that Salty has just sang the theme tune to Rent. Those are two I things I did. Song. Really? I did not expect yep. those two things to go together. I can genuinely send you a video of me singing the entire thing with my family at a wedding. You're a big fan? Or it's just a family Lo yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, I love Rent. Hmm. I'm a big musical person. Yeah, I knew that, but Rent is a strange one. Not one I expected. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm uh, an ally. <laughs> sure, yeah. Ally, that's what they call it. Um... You would sell yourself if you were paid enough, is what you're telling us. Um, true. True, true, true. The final countdown. I don't think we'll have that. I don't know why that's in amongst my uh, music for all today. <laughs> okay. The music's beginning. The fight is on. Oh, God, it's not playlisted. This is going to be so messy. Uh, fuck it. This one. Yeah, go. It's going to be loud as well. I think, maybe. Okay. Or it's not going to play. One of the two. Okay, cool. Uh, Fawn Ham. Plus my 18, it's 22. Oh, what, what, what? You got a 17? Plus my 5. Why have you got plus 5? Oh. Because it should be an in, in roll. Yes, it should. Theodore, you see two giant rats approaching you. 
Um, okay. What are you going to do? Then I will walk Think up quick. to them. And I will attack. Okay, very good. Uh, that's 17 to hit. Oh, what are you trying to turn down, man? Discord. Without turning you guys down. Turn down for what? Oh, do you mean the stream? Yeah, I don't get to fuck around with the roll 20. Josh. I to fuck around with Discord. If I you stream your problem. screen instead of your roll 20 itself, then Moon won't get the music. I fixed it. Oh, you fixed it? Okay, great. Then we're all in a happy place. Uh, sorry, you did a what with a who? Um, Theodore? I rolled, I rolled a 17 to hit. A 17 will hit. That's 14 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, that's a dead rat. And then bonus action. Uh, Sarah um, will fire up her eye and aim for this one. Well, she moved that. Yeah, but it was. Um... And that's... A 17 to hit? That'll hit! And that's... 5 fast. Well done, Theodore. You've soloed the combat. You may all take 13 experience points. Fight on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There are going to be a few like that, just on the basis that this is designed for level oh, 1 we're characters. So close. Okay. Um, however, you have established that this door is locked, and without the key, you will not be able to find a way in. So, the, the other way. North, to the north, everything else. What was that, EXP? 13, 1 3. Just need people to be quiet when you give that information. They're much louder than you. Yes, yes, they are. Do you want me to be louder? I can be louder. Oh my fucking no, I, god. I don't need you to be louder because I don't want that ever. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, so, um, you head up the other way. You see a relatively solid wooden door. And uh, are you going to go ahead and creak that open, Theodore? Yes. Boop. Uh, you see a passageway. Um, down this passageway, you see uh, two doors of wood on the left and right. And a, sto and a stone door at the end. Um... From the door to your left, you hear a kind of sort of mechanical noise that, happening on the left. Is that my left as I'm walking down? <laughs> yes. Um, so down on the map. Uh, basically from this room. Um, I don't know if you can see a ping if I ping it with the door closed. Um, and then from this room, you hear an eerie silence. And from over here, you hear the weeping of a creature. Um... Give me a survival check. Uh, who's likely to be able to do that? Uh, Kai, maybe? Are you a survival bitch? Uh, I think so. Uh, no, actually, sorry. I'm yeah. going to retcon that. Because um, it would make a lot of sense in some ways. But actually, what I'd like is a survival check with advantage from Thornum. Uh, because it would make a lot more sense with Thornum to understand his way around underground areas. Uh, say again, what role is survival? Survival with advantage. Right. Oh dear. That's a three. With advantage? Yes. What's the other roll? A two. <laughs> a five and a two. Alright, Kai, I tell you what. Um, he should know his way around it. Are we going to have to work out what you could roll? Maybe I do a history with advantage or something, or a perception with advantage? Uh, but yeah, Kai, go ahead, and give me a, sure. Kai, go ahead and give me a survival check. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, fine. I, I just need a number that's over a ten. I've been given a seventeen. I'm going to take it. Um... You would work out that this room down below must be very small, as you barely walked up, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you know that this gap must be pretty small. And may yeah. lead to behind the locked door. Again, you hear ch ch going on in that room. There's probably something behind that door then. Uh, but that seems like the way to go. <laughs> that other door in front of us. It uh, seems like someone's gone and shut their ex-wife in there. Uh, let's not anger her. <laughs> huh. Oh, in this door, oh right? sorry. Um, the door on the the door to this door um, is a stone relief carved door sealing this chamber, uh, portraying a dragon-like fish swimming. Um, the door does appear to be locked, but the lock does not appear particularly strong. What's 
What's our plan here? I say the plan is we we uh, we bust the door open by any means and uh, just go and pummel whatever the hell is behind it. If we really want a challenge. We could break open all three doors at the same time. Um, let's let's not. <laughs> this door's wooden and requires no breaking. This door's wooden. I thought it was the stone one, but it's not. This is the stone relief uh, carved door. And is that one the one with the fragile lock? Yeah, the lock doesn't look particularly robust. I believe Theodore is our lock, bitch. Uh, yeah, I can uh, try and unlock uh, this door. Do you have a Thieves' Tools check? Uh, no. I haven't done that for you yet. Uh, go ahead and give me an acrobatics check, because I think you're proficient in acrobatics, right? I'm also proficient in Arcana, and that has a higher modifier. Yes, but you don't use intelligence to open doors, you use uh, dexterity. <laughs> And in and the knowledge of what to do and where to flee. Yes, Bellinor is proficient in <laughs> Bellinor is proficient in persuasion. Would you like him to try and persuade the door to open, or are you going to give me that acrobatics <laughs> check? <laughs> what has that got to do with anything? It doesn't. It's a dex check plus advantage because you don't have thieves' tools in your skills currently. While this is all happening, I'll walk up to the door and I'll caress its face. That's a twenty-one. A twenty-one. Fantastic. The door goes ahead and pops open. Uh. Um, inside you see a gear turning very slowly on the spot. Uh, to the left you see two kegs, the sound of sloshing liquid coming from inside them. Um, they're fashioned of rusted iron, and rusted pipes lead from these kegs into the floor. It is from one of these kegs that the ch 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 sound is happening. What are you going to do? Oh, I've just realised you can see those. That is... No, you can't. Never mind. I'm wrong. You cannot see these. I don't want the answers. Um, is there anything to do? Uh, uh, the kegs have lids on them. You can open them if you want. Sure. What's the number? Okay. As you open the lid, um, a fire elemental, an ice elemental, and a steam uh, method... Uh, are released. They were clearly doing something within this barrel, powering this, um, powering this cog. As as you open the lid, they step out. The cog stops turning, and they all leap upon you. Um, what room is this? Fourteen. Fantastic. Fourteen. Go home. Okay. See ya. Go ahead and roll initiative. As they are going to attack you. Well, it could have been worse. We could have had Casper. The friendly ghost. Instead, it's just a method. Not quite a ghost. Uh, Theodore, that's a 12, correct? Thank cool. You. Um, so, as you go to step in, uh, this fiery elemental is going to step through and it is going to stop there. Um, Thornum and... Sarah will take oh, 10 fire damage. Much fire damage? 10! Ow. Oh, what happened here? The thing just walked through us. Uh, yes, it's currently positioning itself between the two of you. It's flames burning you alive like a crispix. Bastard. Yee. It's battering you. Um, we're making a perception check to find the encounter. Bear with me. Have I seen that before? Here we go. Um, the steam method will attempt to breathe steam out at you all. Um, Sarah, Kai, and where the fuck is Theodore? Well, Theodore, why are you in there? Get back out. Was um, I, what do you mean, why was I in there? Oh, you opened the barrel, didn't you? Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, this one's the steam one. Okay. Uh, Theodore, Sarah, and Kai need to make... A deck save, please. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I have a dice that does that. No, I have. Oh, five. Theodore got a 17 and Sarah got a 14. Okay, cool. Um, Kai, you take four fire damage 
as steam is expelled towards you. What are you going to do about it? It's your turn. Uh, yes, uh, there's Sarah in front of you, Thornham in front of that. But you can see these little methods, and there is a fire elemental about half a foot away from you to the left. Okay, I'm getting the... The... Whatchamacallits. Really? Touch Thornham's back and give him enhanced weapon. Okay. Your next attack is gonna do 1d6 additional cold damage. Nice. And then I'm gonna move away from the door. Mm-hmm. You said they took 10 damage, right? They did take 10 damage. And then I'm going to... Use a healing word on uh, Thornum. Okay. Thank you kindly, buddy. Right, look at that. Take your 10 HP back. <laughs> nice. Does that conclude your turn, Fantastic. Kai? What was it? Does that conclude your turn? Yes. Theodore. Uh, actually, I have a quick question mm -hmm. about this enhanced weapon. Are you gonna? Do you want me to specify the damage type right away, or just want me to? Take no, it you can specify. Yeah, you specify the damage type straight away. That's okay. great. Um, so he'll do six cold, one d six cold damage on his next attack. I need to know if I need to remind him what the fucking damage type he's gonna do. No, it's so okay. I'll swing remember. At ice devil. <laughs> okay. I yeah, remember. Um, yeah. So, uh, Theodore, you're up. You have an icy cold glow on your hammer. What are you gonna do? Why? Why? Because that's what Kai has given you. What did she give me? Sorry. An icy cold glow on your weapon, which will do a one d six of cold damage on your next. Okay, piece. cool. Sorry, I was replying to a friend. Okay. Um. So Kai has requ requested kindly that you don't hit the ice method with your cold weapon. I hit. I gave it to Thornum, not Theodore. Oh, Thornum. Sorry, they're all the same thing. Um, Theodore, okay. you don't have a cold weapon. Go hit someone. Okay, great. I will hit this misty guy. The steam method, yes. Made of steam. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll hit the misty guy. Uh, that is a 18 to hit. An 18 will hit. Uh, that's 12 bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. um, he is wounded. And then uh, Sarah will fire a beam at the misty guy. Yep. Which would be a 13 to hit. A 13 will hit. And nice, that's 9 fast damage. That is exact lethal. Um, please make a dex save, Theodore. Oh, As the creature explodes in a large cloud of steam. Um, that is a an 8. An 8? An 8 yeah. is a fail, you will take 4 fire damage. <sighs> Oh no. Kai? What? You said, um. That wasn't me. Oh, no? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, Belenor. I'll look at this uh, fire elemental in front of me. Mm -hmm. and, I'll, and I'll say to him You know, I've heard your mother takes up more tiles than a gelatinous cube. I hate your fucking goddamn jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Go on. Give me a give me a save, please. Um, sure. I'm assuming you said it in Ignan. He got a 17. Yeah, he's gonna be just fine. <laughs> yeah, he obviously didn't say it in Ignan. He didn't understand you. Any bonus action? I speak infernal, but <laughs> he doesn't. Weirdly enough. I'll uh, I'll look at uh, Thornum. Say, maybe your blade can be sharper than my words. Indeed. Thornum, you have every fucking buff on the planet. Your weapon will do 1d6 cold damage. You have bardic inspiration, and it is your turn. 1d6 cold damage, bardic inspiration. Yeah, and you wow. have a fire elemental inside you. Right, and I'll step away from a fire elemental and mm -hmm. uh, try to bash it into the Great Alex. Bish, bash, nish, nosh, nosh. Do you have a magical weapon? Uh, It's a uh, silvered weapon. It does is silvered, count? yes. Uh, Yes, it does. Then my attack will be a fifteen to hit. Fifteen will hit. Uh one D six cold, yes. Indeed. Plus your yeah. regular damage. At six. Uh-huh. And nice. the great axe hit is So 
16, yes? You have said nothing? Uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, apparently that's a 16. Okay. Uh, did so you roll... Six. You're going great axe, yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, 16 will... Yeah, that's a massive chunk out of his health. Um, he looks wounded. Okay. Oh, uh, also it's going to take... The cold damage oh. seemed... Uh, no, 16 for the hit and then 6 for the cold. Oh. Um, he, uh, the cold damage seems to have hit, been, oh, let's just go Pokemon. It was super effective. As I would have expected. Indeed. Um, but it ain't not dead. Are you doing anything else? Uh, I would like to not get hit by another huge chunk of fire damage. So um, oh, I'm yeah. Actually... Speaking of which, uh, you hit the creature, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, you take one fire damage. Oh, okay. I rolled uh, a 10 on the D10 the first time, so it was just a bit rude. Yeah. It's you, tempting. You want to step away? I would love an opportunity attack. Uh, Actually, what's my... Uh, yeah, that's it. Run yeah, away. Actually, make, you know what, run away. Make away. a Kai tank. That's what I'm I gonna do. I'm going to step away one step. Oh, lovely. Uh, I don't know how you feel, Kai, but your tank has decided to run away, leaving you to face the fire I'm elemental. I'm not done yet. Is, oh, okay. is it going to uh, opportunity attack me? No. How? It, it isn't. It can't. I moved away from the door. But in that case, if it doesn't opportunity attack me, I'll walk straight yeah, back up. It, it, uh, it came out the door uh, already, oh. so it's like right in front of you. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's humping Sarah right now. Um, I thought I'm just going to conclude your turn. All right, so I stepped away and it didn't opportunity attack No, me. it can't. Right. Um, hmm... Oh, yeah, okay, I'll have to turn them. <sighs> Some real problems here. Um, Bob, Theodore. Uh, go oh, ahead and God. give me a deck save, please. Oh, man. Are you sure it's not in magic effects? That's an int wisdom or charisma save? It is a magic effect, but it's not an int wisdom or charisma save. Are you sure? I'm very sure. If I roll a nat 20, can I make a wish? No. Um, wait a second. That's aren't, a 18. aren't you a gnome? What? Aren't you a gnome? I am a bug gnome. Oh, but it's only in Twiz and Christmas. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, what did you get? An 18. Okay, he spits out a cold, frosty breath at you. Uh, you take... Two cold damage. Uh, the fire mantle will swing at Sarah. I'm sorry, I've rolled damage. Um, 13 to hit Sarah? Yes. Yes? Miss. Miss, okay, cool. Um, second one to hit Thornum, 23. That will hit. Uh, four damage. Um... You are ignited. Okay. You will need to take an action to douse the fire upon yourself. Kai, okay. you're up. Uh, Thornum is next to you and on fire. This is not moving away from the door, sir. I assumed you didn't want to proc an opportunity attack. Well, I moved before he. I moved on my turn before he. He had doubted. the first turn of the game, of the fight. The fire elements would it. Can you hear Jason? That's not my team, right? What? Yep. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, he stepped out the door. He was then adjacent to everyone, apart from Bellinor. He was inside Sarah and Thornham. Uh, when you said away from the door, I made sure that you were as far back as possible, which is what I assumed you meant. Apologies. Anyway, um, it's your turn. Uh, Thornham's on fire. I wouldn't care either. I, I don't care. It's <laughs> not particularly anything I could do about it, even if I did care. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Fire Elemental's wounded. Ice Elemental, Ice and Effort looks fine. Alright, I'm gonna inflict wounds on the Fire Elemental. Okay, go ahead, roll to hit. Please? Maybe I'll be able to do that. Can I please roll the hit, D and D we have? Oh, okay. 
I love D&D Beyond. <laughs> the drama. The tension. Sorry. The I suspense. Just literally reviews the roll. 23 to hit him. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll me some damage, if you can. Great. 28. 28 Fuck necrotic damage. And call me Bob. That is a dead fire elemental. Um, what a level one spell. Any bonus action? Uh, no, I can't do any bonus action. Uh, Theodore, you're up. Okay, I'll I swing at the three. Three then for level one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'll, uh, I'll swing at the icy guy. Although I did eight damage with it yesterday, man. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a sixteen. That'll hit. That's twelve bludgeoning damage. My encounters crash, probably. Sorry, it's how much bludgeoning damage? It's 12 bludgeoning damage. Okay, yeah, it looks wounded. And, uh, I think it was turned into dark. <laughs> I mean, we can hear every breath you take. Um, every breath you, and every make. Breath you make. Damn it. <laughs> well, I'm not doing anything different than normal. No, but it is what it um, is. And then Sarah will laser beam. Yep. And it does have 15 to hit. That'll hit. And that's a measly 3 force damage. Yep. Better not, you're up. <clears throat> I shall. Look over. At this frosty thingy in the corner, and mm -hmm. I'll say, hmm, made of ice, but not so nice. I should roll that wisdom save at advantage. <laughs> um, he gets a nine. To give anything. <laughs> Yay, damage. That is four damage, and he has disadvantage on his next attack. He does. Fawn him. Yes. There is a nearly dead ice elemental round a corner that you can't see right now. And I'm on fire, yes. And you're on fire, just like Alicia Keys. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put out the fire. Sick. Does that end your turn? <laughs> that will win my turn, yeah. Great. Um, the ice uh, method with disadvantage will attempt to punch Theodore in the face. Yeah, uh, that's a 7 to hit you. Yes. A 15 to hit you. I will activate Ben 10 style psh, shield. Okay. Fair enough. Um, for those who know, no. For those who don't, don't. You shield his 1d4 of cold damage. Um, you Kai, you're up. Right there is one nearly dead ice method. Me to do about it. I don't know, shout at it? Yeah, I'll yell at it. Okay, cool, bye. Uh, Theodore, hit it. I guess I'll give Theodore 1d6 cold damage. Theodore, hit it! Theodore, oh. hit it. Why? Because it's nearly dead and it's your turn. Oh, sorry. 18? Yeah, that'll hit it. Um, you crush its soul. Why not? Uh, ten. Ah, uh, bless you. Yep. Um, by the way, we can hear a what every time you roll. It's quite annoying. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, it's the sound effect of, um, of rolling onto roll twenty. I know. It's yeah. uh, it's really annoying. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that is the end of that fight. They are all dead. Um, oh, why can I not see the XP while I'm in this screen? It's so stupid. I want you guys to know that I uh, decided to roll <laughs> wisdom saving throw for his shitty joke again. Roll the nat one. <laughs> um, it's 150 <laughs> XP each. Oh, poor. 
150, yes. Hey, guess what that means? 104. Congratulations. We've leveled up. If you are an HP roller, don't forget to roll said HP. Do we re-roll ones? We take ASI's, correct? What? We take ASI's, not feeds, yes. Uh, yeah. Just making sure. And I think we so. re-roll we re we yeah. re-roll ones, right? Uh you're a fighter, you re-roll the ones uh, endlessly and you re-roll the first two you get. Sorry, I missed your answer. Do we take ASI's or feet? ASI's, no feats. It's 150 EXP, right? Yes. Thank you. No problem. I get different exciting things than you guys today. Did I get anything exciting? No. You should have got access to level 2 druid spells. Oh yeah, but that's healing spirit, brother. That shit's su surprisingly sp uh, spectacularly exciting. Ba 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 Palpable as I roll my d8. <laughs> Negative three. That's good. Oof. Yeah, it's alright. Crying inside. That's bigger than a two. It's true. You could have got a two. Um, during this time, I'm gonna get out a wrench and a screwdriver, and I'm gonna cast um, mending on my dear sweet princess. Okay, she feels mended. And, uh... Fuck, where is it? Oh man, I can't find where. It how much it is on her right. sheet in extras under repair many spell on it she regains 2d6 hp 2d6 nice I don't understand. I'm looking at this, I don't see why you would not just keep doing that. I can't do it again. It's a cantrip, right? So you can just do it endlessly. I love that. Uh, so I think that's only a heal in combat. Out of combat, I think you can just say you repair it at full. You repair it at will? To full. Oh, to Out of full. combat, yeah. You just put it back to full HP. Okay, cool. Up to 27. While we all sit here and think to ourselves about what we want, I'm going to begin to perform a very elegant speech of tales of how great we are and how wonderful we are going to be and how successful this, this dungeon run will turn out for us and everyone's going to gain that temporary no HP. no they're not because that takes These 10 minutes short... doesn't it does yeah. is in a short rest <laughs> Uh, I'm not no, doing a short rest. It's not a short rest. Up. It's not a short rest. It's ten minutes. Uh, during your ten minute speech, um, three kobolds burst through the door. Hey! What are you doing? This is our domain. Giving a speech. Can you, like, one second, please? Uh, you're approximately a minute into the speech. Uh, there is a third dude. I don't know what he's doing out there. Um, looks at you. This is our domain! That's great. I'm just, you know, I'm just telling my friends how good we are, you know. What are you doing down here? Exploring. Yeah. But this is our domain. Well, we didn't know that. I've got That's no why we're exploring. I've got 
no other line to them. I've just got this is our domain. <laughs> what are you doing down here? <laughs> um, at this point, a oh, that's gonna move everybody. We don't like that. We don't like that at uh, all. At this point, a weepy kobold will step forward and. <laughs> The clan's dragon. We lost it. If you are... We lost it. Yeah. The wretched goblin stole Calstrix. Our dragon. We lost a dragon. Yeah. That's some um, kind of hard to do, I'd imagine. No. Especially the goblins. No, oh, they stole it in the night. Mean. Is it a baby dragon? Mm. This big, and he just holds his arms out like as wide as he can. He's not small, he's not big. A dragon, stone. The goblins took him. How does a goblin steal a dragon? People don't know, but your trail does. People take you to meet your trail, our leader, if you make nice. You get safe passage if you promise to make nice. Maybe if you promise to rescue dragon, your trail will make nice too. Even answer your silly questions. Can I finish my speech then? Speech? What speech? Yes, I. You you guys can listen to the speech as well. I'll even include you. Guys. They stuck our dragon. But it's gonna be very inspiring, I promise. No, if it's if it's spoken the way you spoke about it, it us, it wasn't very inspiring. Everybody <laughs> but James. Josh gets nine ten. After HP. your speech, you're gonna make nice. I just. Yes. 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 We yeah, will Sure. Um, he turns to the others and go back to guard room. Do the guard. And they'll go back to the guard room and do the guard. Now, uh, continuing on in my speech and even adding in the success of the kobolds finding their lost dragon and inspiring them to be vicious warriors in their future and very successful in all of their future endeavors as well. Mm -hmm. That goblin, that, that kobold can take ten, nine, ten He's good. Uh, but he will let you know that his name is Meepo. And uh, he says, Meepo, take you to see you's drill. Um, as you walk down the corridor, I'm going to lead the group because it makes the most sense. Uh, on the right, uh, you see, sorry, back here, uh, we see the little guard room. Uh, this is the guard room where he sent the kobolds back to. Um, here lies an empty cage, um, which looks like it may once have held a dragon of a decent size um yeah that you're right that's the cage i don't know there's two cages he was in one of them um too many things too many things um large pit in the center shows evidence of a recent fire and the metallic cage contains a gaping hole and stands empty yes um okay uh so meepo will then lead you uh to use drail the leader um you see on the right through the edges of the walls here uh that there are some goblins being held prisoner here they don't look like they've been treated very nicely um on the left you see another guard room and on the right you see another guard room and then he leads you up to here uh behind you stand some cobbled elites and what looks to be some sort of cobbled with a staff Maybe some magic-y stuff? I don't know. And in front of you is Yuzdrail, uh, the leader, um, sitting upon a short throne, standing near the western wall, constructed of fallen bits of masonry stacked against an old, old altar. On top of the altar sits a variety of small items. The portion of the altar that serves as the throne's back features a carving of a rearing dragon, a metallic key that looks suspiciously familiar is held firmly in the dragon's open jaws. No question. You do? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, why does this guy have a different background colour? He's the one who's got a staff. Didn't he look more like this guy? He's got robes. Uh, this guy is the boss who's sitting on a uh, sitting on a throne. He's allowed clothing. The rest only wear loincloths. Uh, hello? Why? Hello. Welcome. I see you've come into my domain. What do you offer? Find your dragon. You offer to find my dragon? Yes. How did you hear about At that? Least. I'm gonna point at the guy who led us here. Meepo, have you been crying to visitors again? 
Well, seeing as you're in the know, yes, the goblins stole our dragon. Young as she was, Calstrix was potentially able to defend herself, but we think the goblins may have offered her a reward to go with her, though we all know that goblins are liars and cheats and have probably tricked her. What brings you to my realm? We're just exploring. Mm. What she said. And you just thought you'd explore through territory that clearly does not belong to you, humans is. Well, we didn't well, know. Well, to be fair, we didn't know. Well, now you do. This is the realm of the Kobolds. This is my realm. I will permit you to pass through to the area of this dungeon that belongs to the Goblinses if you promise to retrieve our dragon. I will Give perhaps best shot. even reward you. Unless, of course, you want to buy some of these items. And she gestures towards the altar. And the key. How much for the key? 50 gold pieces. Mm. 25. I'm sorry, do you have a hearing problem? <laughs> uh, I, I don't. 50 gold pieces. <laughs> that doesn't look like it's worth 50 gold pieces, though. Then you will be remain mine instead of yours. No, no. I mean, you know, you just lost yourself a potential buyer. She looks at you confused and... I lost myself the potential of a buyer who won't pay the price. What use is that to me? Regardless, the scrolls here, and this token, and this Alexia, are also 50 gold for each of them. They have an Alexa? Yes, Alexa mm -hmm. of Health. Oh, I what see. What kind of scrolls are they? Um, oh, I don't know. Take a look at them. Um, and she just sort of pushes them over. Uh, Mage Armor, Spider Climb, and Knock. Uh, there is also a feather token of a tree that looks like it might grow a tree if you put it into the ground. Do you guys happen to have a bathroom? Are you expecting them to say, yeah, gents, just on the corridor? <laughs> she just looks at you like you're an idiot. I need to use the restroom. You need a room to rest? We have beds, I'll charge you oh. 50 gold pieces. Wow, that's expensive. Very expensive. This is my domain. Why should I give shelter to the humanses? Normally you humanses come down here and you burn things and make clutter. But we're not doing that and we're offering to help you. Which is why I haven't had you killed. And I'm offering you safe passage through and now he wants a rest? What is this, a I, joke? I, 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 no, I, I, he, I, no. That's not what I meant. I meant that I... He would I like to relieve himself. Well... Do you mind if I step into this corridor, corridor just down here to the south of us that we came through for a second? Uh, the cobalt elite will step up and... Uh, you can be escorted by this fellow here. If you wish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He'll go down the corridor with you. Where are we going? Once we get down to around up and around this corner. Yep. Um, I'm going to tell him the funniest joke he's ever heard in his life. Oh, yeah? I think it was him saved. I don't know. What's the joke? Fuck. Uh... <laughs> I didn't think I was just going to say yes, did you? <laughs> One second. One second. <laughs> so, Mr. Kobold, uh, what do you think is a dentist's favorite day to... To work. Dentist's favorite day to work. Ten What's a dentist? To tooth day? It's tooth, tooth, tooth day. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Is that a wisdom save? Yes. <laughs> I think you should roll at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> tooth day! And he starts to crack up in laughter. Um, Fantastic. Okay, uh, three kobolds walk out this room. What's all the laughing about? Oh, God damn it. I just told him the funniest joke he's ever heard. <laughs> well, tell it to us, come on. 
Oh my god. This, this is, is about good. to be all of my spell slots. No, no, you don't need to use another spell slot. You can just tell the joke Guys, again. I think we're going to need a new bard soon. You can just tell the joke again. You don't need to use another spell slot. So, <clears throat> what's a dentist's favorite day? Tooth day. Everybody knows that. No, he didn't. Oh. That's boring. Who are you, anyway? Uh, we're, we're, uh, we were just talking to your guys' leader over there about saving your dragon. Saving the dragon? The dragon was yeah, a pain in the ass. I'm so glad it's gone. We the other one turns around and elbows him and, don't say that, Jusdrell loves that dragon. Well, what do you mean by that? your jokes are crap. I'm leaving. The other one turns around and, well, he was work. We had to clean his cage and everything. Like, ugh. No, that's fair, that's fair. Oh. Well, so, you're gonna go rescue the dragon? You're not gonna go in the goblins' lairs? I guess that's the plan. I stabbed a goblin and then he pulls out his short sword with this. Stuck him right in the bum. Did mm. you get him? Yeah, Did real good. I, I, I don't know. We had to run. There were lots of them. There are many, many, many goblins in Goblinsville. Where is Goblinsville? Goblinsville. It's, uh, it's the other side of. The dungeon, it's uh, the north side, we don't go there. Unless, oh, so it's just... unless we're stab stabby, you know? I got the guy next door, though, he broke in. Oh, yeah, not far. Uh, the co uh, your leader said that this was the kobold's domain. So this is the kobold's the domain, and the other, the other bit is the goblin's domain. We, we have a blockade between us. So... Could you show us to that blockade? Oh, no, I'm not important enough. Uh, uh, just, well. just go up. And then take a right, all the way to the end, and take a left. Right. Then you have to go through the, uh, through the, well, the blockade, and then, uh, and then straight through. Nice and easy. Easy, all right. Well, if you've got Thank the codes you. and the lever, you got the codes, codes, right, and the lever. Where would I get the codes and the lever? Oh, I don't know. Boss knows. Hmm. All right. Well. Uh, you're boring me. You. And he walks off. Well, there goes my plan. <laughs> and with that, I will, while this kobold is laughing his ass off right next to me, I will take a piss. And oh, sorry. Turn back to the room. I meant to move him. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, as you come back in, Yuzdro looks at you suspiciously. And... Where's Nikki? I told him a joke. He's losing his shit down there. What shit? He had shit to lose? Uh, you know, he was he was laughing. Oh, ha, ha. What was the joke? I've been told that it was a poor joke by the other kobolds down there, so I feel like I should... Oh, no, do know. tell! I love your jokes. <laughs> That's why you wish so, you chose everyone. a better joke. <laughs> I'm not getting fucking out of this one. What's a dentist's favorite day? Oh, I hate you before I even hear it. Your straw looks at you. Wednesday! Mm, it's Tuesday. Oh, Wednesday? Tuesday? Tuesday's not a day. We've got Monday, we've got Tuesday, we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so I'm no Tuesday. You you got it wrong. There's no day on a Tuesday. Oh my god! Think about. He looks Tuesday. to his friend and. He doesn't even know the days of the week. Do you want to buy a key or a scroll? Actually, I'm looking for a lever and some coats. A lever and coats? Leather coats? You want leather coats? I've got some leather coats. We've got them in no, the no, kitchen no. area. Lever and coats. Lever and coats? I think he means lever and coats. Oh. Sorry, I don't speak British. I I don't know anything about that. We just, you know, uh, I heard that that's the way to get to the goblins, and if you want your... You want safe there. passage through to the goblins, is we'll, we'll show you through to Goblinsville. Yeah, well, yeah, easy enough, I guess. Take yeah. us to goblin, Goblinsville. Nikki! Nikki! Take them to the Goblinsville. Nikki? I thought it was Goblins. Nikki! Nikki! Eventually, uh, a cobble comes around the corner, carrying Nikki, who's hooting with laughter. Um... It's not that funny, Nikki. It's not even a real day of the week. Take these guys through to the goblins' area. Through the barricade? Yeah, take them through. 
Go on. Let them through. They're gonna rescue the uh the thing. The dragon. That's what they're rescuing. Sorry. Um and uh Nikki will Question. offer to lead you through. Question? Yes. Um what do you do you have any idea what they may have used to persuade the dragon to go with if that's what they did? Dragons like treasure. They probably lied. That's what goblins do. Treasure, okay. Thank you. Okay. And with that, Nikki will show you over to this door over here. Where you may head up. Yep. Um, okay. And uh, we'll gingerly uh, step through into the area. Um, uh, one question real quick. Yeah. Are we supposed to have revealed all the places that we've been before in here because they're not Oh, real? don't tell me. I don't have Explorer mode on now. How fucking late is that? Oh, I know, it's on right. from now onwards. Um, anyway. Um, and then Meepo will look up to you and... Can, can I come and rescue Kalsrix? Oh, yeah. I'm good friends with Kalsrix. You'll come with me. You'd like to help us? Uh, I'm not much good at fighting, but I can bring the dragon. Dragon's my friend. Calstrix and me, yeah. we go back. Way back. It couldn't hurt to have another one with us. And someone familiar with the dragon. Oh, okay. Um, and with that, um, Meepo will join you. Um, Nikki uh, shows you that there is a... Don't do that. Um, Nikki shows you that there is a hidden pit... In the middle of the floor, um, that you uh, will need to carefully step over. Uh, there's a two foot wide catwalk along the pit center that allows safe passage over the pit. Um, otherwise, the lid flips open, dumping creatures down into the pit uh, onto sharp stakes. Ow. Yeah, yeah. that's not. Oh my. I'll go through that. Okay. Um, however, you are then able to maneuver, once you've seen that, able to maneuver your way over here. And uh, Meepo will follow behind you all um, as you head on into Goblinsville. I would like to attempt to step over this trap. Yeah, this, it's not hard. It's two foot wide. Like It's, okay. it's not a difficult trap. Um, where's Shira? Over there. Okay. Um, yep. Any other traps up here to be worried about, Meepo? Uh, no, yeah, I did just call you Shira. Sorry. Um, no, and then um, at this point, uh, Nikki yells, Tickle Corn! Um, and runs off. And as Nikki runs off, the door in front of you opens. Um, and a goblin looks through. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I... Is this not on the, uh... Oh. Side? Yeah, there we go. A goblin looks through at you and, uh... Have you come to make trade? Uh, yes. I... What do you trade? Uh, I don't know. What do you got? No, no. Oh. We don't sell. We're bandits. We take. Well, That's not how trading works. Well, you trade. You stay alive. We take your things. We're bandits. Well, lucky for you, we have a town world, town famous painter. <laughs> a town famous. He paints. He paints, um, they're very good paintings that we could give you. They're all at home. No, you can paint something now, right? And then I'll, like, elbow him in the ribs. I'll he points like... with his sword at your hammer. Um, Theodore, and he says, I want that! But this is imaginary. You want that? Are you sh are you sure that thing's got your name on it? Uh, I'm not sure you want that thing to have your name on it. He will step forward and he will attempt to take your hammer from you, Theodore. Which hammer? Which hammer specifically? Theodore. Oh, sorry, Theodore. You guys need to change your fucking names. Come on then. Yeah. Come on then. He can try. I'm gonna look at Theodore as he's reaching for this, and I'll be like, Theodore, can you describe that? Like, can you show me that hammer real quick? No, I can't because it's not real. Hey, just, just let me look at the hammer. Then look at it from where you're standing. I'll look at the hammer and I'll look at the goblin and I'll say, what's your name? Bandit! And in my hand will appear a hammer exact replica of 
Theodore's. Don't want yours. Want his? Name, with the name bandit on it. Don't want yours. Want his? He can't read. Like, that's so funny. My sister-in-law's called. Bandit. He'll grab. He'll grab your hammer, Theodore. No, he won't. He can try to. Why? Why? I need more description than that. He's trying to take your hammer. Yeah, I want you to tell, like, tell me what he's... he's grabbed doing. the hammer and he's pulling it towards himself? No, because, like, if like if he's going to grab it, I'll stop it. I've told you, he's gone to grab the hammer. Then I'll stop it. How are you stopping him? Um, I'm gonna, um, kick him in the shin. Okay, he'll draw his short sword and he'll lever it towards your throat and give me the hammer. I'm a bandit. I'll kick him in the shin again. Cool, wrong initiative. <laughs> Goodness sake. Like, you're either going to fight him or you're not. Um, which room are we in? 36, 36, 36. If I had it, my room would be killing all those kobolds too. You can do. You go back and kill off. Uh, I also don't yeah, want to kill the goblins. I, I, for some reason, I have a hammer in my inventory now. <laughs> Why? Because I just made a hell of a hammer. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I see what you were doing. Yeah, cool. Um, Theodore with a 12, Kai with a 10, Bellinor with a 19, and Thornum with a 13. Hey, Josh, um, what type of hammer is that, by the way? Just a regular hammer or a light hammer? Or... It is a um, mall. Ah, yes. Okay, so I've made a mall. <laughs> no, you would have made a warhammer. Um, it's a mall to him because he's smaller than you. It's a ah. warhammer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, with that, uh, he will attempt to shiv you, Theodore, uh, with his shorting sorting. Um, it's actually a dagger, but fuck it. Um, mm, sixteen to hit you. I will. Um, once again, bend tennis shield around me. Okay. Uh, Balanor, you're up. Uh, yeah, I'll take a swing at him with my rapier. Okay. There's a 19 to hit. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That is 10 damage. Uh-huh, he did. And then, uh, I guess I'll step through the door towards these two. Okay, uh, I know they look identical on roll 20, but the one below looks fatter and slightly more angry. Uh, I'll leave that one to Theodore, and, or, or not Theo, sorry. Oh, God, yeah, you yeah. guys need to change your name. <laughs> That's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and yep. I'll swing with my short sword in my offhand at the one on the top. Yep. That is yeah, a natural, that is a natural one for a seven. Yep, nope. Okay, cool. Um, big fat boss man uh, is going to take his club, and he got swang at you. Uh, it's a 15 to hit you, but I That'll miss. And a nine to hit you. That'll miss as well. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, Thornum, you're up. I was, I was, I rock on up. Yeah. You sure you want to continue this fight? Are you sure? He looks at you. Sort of just did. Lay down your weapons and surrender. How about you lay down your weapons and surrender? I have a maul for you here with your name on it, and I'll grab my maul and swing it straight at him. With okay, reckless... he will grab oh, this like... goblin here and pull him, pull the goblin in front of the blow, using yeah, the goblin okay. as a shield. I mean, I, mean, I, well, I said reckless. It's actually great weapon, Marcy. You now I got the name. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I will That's be fine. rolling. Yeah, you'll be hitting five. the little dro the, the little yeah. goblin. I guess I won't be hitting him. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, is that who's uh, turn for him? Yeah, I'm not going to use a... Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do short rest re related shit right yet. Sorry. Okay. Theodore! Sorry, it's kind of crapped in here, Theodore. Um, yeah, I'll move on over here. Okay. Um, and I'll swing it at this guy. Uh, this guy is holding this guy up as a shield. Okay, I'll swing at them both. Yep. Wait, he's holding that guy up in front of them. Yeah, oh, but he'll turn as you sort of go to swing him. And just, like, hold the ally in front of him. Sure. Whatever you say, DM. It says, the fat goblin boss drags his minion and holds him as a shield. The next attack that hits the boss will hit the minion no, instead. Uh, I'm just doing the rules. That's, no, I'm not, I'm not saying, you're, I'm not saying yeah, that. Logically, I, I know it's a bit like, weird. It's just funny because D&D &D combat, 
lasts a minute and everything happens at once. So it's just funny that he's both like in two places at once. Yeah, this goblin around. But if we're gonna go on that note, you just walked through a dwarf. I know. So, sexy, yeah. Um. Go on. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, that's a nat twenty. Now I hit. That's. I don't know what that is. My dice was in the way. That's fine. Twenty-two. Um, as your hammer crashes into the skull of the little goblin he's holding up, the boss sort of looks at him like, "Oh, that's vile." He looks down, the brains all over him, and he just sort of lobs the body to the side, and steals himself with great club in hand. Kai. Oh, right. oh sorry, Theodore. Theodore, Theodore, bonus action. Yep, go on. Uh, bonus action. Uh, Sarah's gonna come up here. Yeah. Um, and then she will laser beam this guy. Laser le beam. Can you believe that, like, still defenders get, like, 40 from the weapon speed? That's mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you believe in life after love? That's, uh, 21. Mm-hmm. And that is, uh, 8 force damage. Cool. That's annoying to him, but little else. Um... Kai, you're up. One fat goblin bastard. Yeah, fat goblin bastard he is. Gonna need to give me a strength saving throw. A 19. Ah, he passes. He's strong boy. Does that conclude your turn? Yeah, why not? Beleno, you're up. I will, with my rapier, I will take a swing at him. Okay. That is a 14 to hit. Mm-hmm. Where's my spell DC? So That'll miss. Short. That'll miss, sorry. And then I will swing at him with my short sword. That's an 8 to hit. Yep, cool. Um, He shall try and club you in the head. That's a 9 to hit. And a miss, 9 to hit. Miss. Right, he's fucking inept with that club, isn't he? Uh, Thornum, you're up. Uh, I would like to once again try to swing a great, a great weapon master attack with a great axe this time. Great axe this time? Okay, cool. Go yeah. ahead, roll to hit. Is this a uh, flanking advantage or just regular straight hit? Yeah, why not? Doesn't matter anyway, because that would have been an 8 to hit. Yeah, that's not. Indeed, no. Theodore. Wow, what a terrible roll. I will swing at this guy. So when you swing your zoom. hips now. I think, did you make them talk like that? So, like, after Gollum? No. Because he's saying hobbits is his. No, it's the kobolds that said goblins is. They're them. Yeah, yeah, sure. Know? I like the word goblins is. And humans is. Great. Um, that's a 16 to hit. That'll hit. Are you uh, wielding a hammer? Yes. What? You're hitting him with a hammer, right? It's the only... Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, you see that his blubber of fat protects him from the force of the blow. Um, he will take half damage from it. Okay, so that's eight already half. Yep. Um, and then Sarah will fire off a beam. She's giving him the big wink. Uh, that is a 15 to hit. That'll hit. And that is another 8 force Ooh, damage. the laser beam brings him to his knees in damage, and Meepo will sneak in and shank him in the back. I got one! Ha <laughs> ha, dead goblins is. Um, and with that, uh, Meepo will start going through their pockets, um, and will toss you 37 copper pieces that he found on them. Pockets? They had clothing? Uh, yeah, there's also a set of manacles on the uh, goblin boss, and you may each take 75 XP. Uh, the stench, garbage, and carrion here are evidence of years of use by unsanitary tents. Um, that's nice, isn't it? Um, tattered hide stretch on frames form six unstable hammocks around a fire pit. Um, battered cooking equipment is mixed indiscriminately with broken or worn arms and armor. Um, a lot of rusted crap, basically. Uh, there is a door to the north. 
Hey, Kai, can you touch me real quick? You know Kai's taken, right? I don't mean it like that. You're a bard. How else do you mean it? I mean it as in, like, I need a little bit of, I need a little bit of help I, as I, like, point out, like, some scratch marks and stuff on me, like, a little blood coming out of me. Why are you flexing when you do that? Blood coming out of me right here. <laughs> That's I, oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, I think he That's wants right. a, a, he, a cantrip out of you. A cantrip? Yeah, can't you make him expend his eight hit dice? Oh, that's right, yeah. There you go. You can spend some. You can spend the hit dice. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, there is a door uh, leading up to the north. Um, oh, can you not go through there? Hey, hey, hey. What the fuck? There you go. Um, yeah. As you step into this area, several torches mounted in crude sconces burn fitfully around this chamber, filling the air with a haze. A double row of marble columns carved with entwining dragons runs the length of the hall. Um, to your left, you hear loud chatter of lots and lots and lots and lots of goblins. Um, uh, to the north, you see three doors. Uh, the one on the right, you hear heavy breathing behind. That's this door over here. Heavy breathing behind. The two up to the north uh, oh, appear to I didn't be hear our EXP. Sorry. fairly well closed. 75. Um, appear, to be, appear to be fairly sturdy um, and are stone. Um, Seems to be. Sorry. Moon, go, go. No, nothing important. Uh, Josh? I was just going to say we should go uh, to the door with a heavy breathing because it sounds like someone's um, having an asthma attack. We should help. I think you I just think... want to fight people. I I mean, Theo doesn't. I do. <laughs> I don't think we should go to that one. Well, you hear one... You hear loads of goblin chatter to your left. You hear some heavy breathing to your right and two stone doors appear to be closed very firmly straight ahead of you. Oh, so we can't open those, can we? Or we can uh, open you don't them. think you can yeah. um, from a distance. Oh, sorry, there's also a all door right, at the right kidding. with no noise coming out of it at all. We should go check that one out then. That's a wooden door. Seems like the easiest one to go through. Okay, as you walk up here to this wooden door to the right, um, Kai, go ahead and give me a nature check. A nature check? A nature check? I'm not very good at those. I rolled a 14. Yeah, that, uh, breathing sounds like a large creature. Yeah, we shouldn't go in that room. A really large creature, possibly with wings and scales. A dragon? Uh, fangs? Listen, okay, hold on. The way you described it with the fucking kobold, it was not that large, okay? I mean, it's larger than a kobold. It's a dragon, it's not small. It's just not a big dragon. Oh, depending if it's an adult or not. It could be the dragon that's in the other room. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, descriptions, fuck shit. Ah, uh, it's heavy breathing, like big heavy breathing. What other big monster are you looking for in here? Oh yeah, because there's definitely the not. Dragon dragon question that I specifically asked earlier. Um. Yeah. Uh. It's it appears to sound like a dragon. Interested? Okay. Fuck it. Let's go to the door. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, that is, sorry, that is which door? Uh, this door? Eh. As you open the door, before anybody can get a word out of their mouth, Meepo runs in and Indraconic says, Calstrix! Oh, you're looking healthy. That's good. They're feeding you. Very glad. Um, sorry, I need a number. Um, 
the a young white dragon um, is resting oh. behind a broken table. Um, you see that her legs are were originally chained to the wall, uh, but now there are manacles just freely running from her legs. Uh, freely, like, falling from her legs. Mountain and stuffed animal heads adorn the walls, and the mounting job is sloppy, and the assortment of heads include cattle, rats, and other not particularly impressive specimens. Um, a couple of cobbled heads share the wall. Smashed and broken cabinets and small tables are, like, sm uh, littered all over the place. And a rusted iron spike stands in the centre of the room with a broken chain hanging from it. Um, you hear this majestic voice in Draconic. Does anybody speak Draconic? Goblin. Okay, you hear a majestic voice uh, that you don't understand. Uh, Meepo turns to you all and uh, um, I we should run. And Meepo sprints out the room as you see that this dragon okay. is clearly enraged. We should run, indeed. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's uh. Get my head, get, get out of there. <laughs> um, yeah, are you running towards the goblins, or are you running through the door to the empty I, sound to the right? I imagine back down the way we came. Oh, you're going back to the to the kobolds. Well, uh, Meepo. Me it's fair to say Meepo was going. No, it, it's too big to fit through that door. Right. Then, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I, I think we should follow Meepo for the time being. Uh, Meepo will just happen. book it um, into this little room. Meepo, uh, wait! He turns to you and I thought Calstrix would be happy. She was our friend. Our pet. Why was she mad? Oh, when did she change gender? That's the real question. What have I done? Oh well, she's staying female now. Um, I, I thought she was happy with us, but it seems she's happy with the goblins. Well, happier. She said she wasn't coming back with us and she was nobody's pet. And then she told me if I didn't leave, she would bite me. Well, I guess we won't be bringing the dragon back then, will we? Well, I mean, if there's no goblins for her to work with, then she can go back to the kobolds, right? I, I think, think it's... she might kill the kobolds. I think it's fair to say that she'll try to kill both the kobolds and the goblins at this point. Yeah, you got it. Um, yeah, how about we don't do that? Uh, it appears we have a problem then. Lipo looks at you and... Go. Can I go home? Yeah, go ahead. Do you think uh, this would be an alright resolution for us with him? Because there's no way we can bring something that'll kill you guys back. I don't think your Yosandra will be happy till you bring the dragon back in chains. It was her pet. Okay. Stupid. Got it. This is going to be a problem because I'm pretty sure we won't be able to bring the dragon back because the dragon will more than likely kill Meepo a don't lot know, but... of kobolds. But you made nice, so... Meepo tell you secret. No. Yeah. Okay. If all the way to the east is a strange path, uh, there's some strange, like, you know, like coffinsy things. Um, I know it's guarded yeah. by the goblins, but if if you want to make out, escape, you go east, and it'll lead you back to the big tower that goes up to. Outsides, we don't have to come back past hey. Yuzdrahil. Okay, okay. one question you. then for you. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen any other adventures recently down here? Oh yes, Gnome, Erky, Erky Timbers, very nice to us. He got captured with the kobolds. How long ago? Do you know... Last week. Last week, and there was only the one. You've got the names, and Erky Timbers is none of the names you've got. Okay. What do you do you know if anyone came down around three ten day ago, or around that sort that, of time? That's a lot of days. Uh, okay. Uh, Meepo was making friends with Calstrix then. I don't remember uh, any other adventures. 
No more okay. humanses. The last humanses that came down before the Erky Timbers was uh, was big man, Balof. Um, he bonked Yustrail on the head, so Yustrail shut him in a coffin. But that was a long time ago. Many, 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 many days. Balof. That's not one of the names we recognize, is it? No, Balof is just, uh, just a random name. You don't yeah, that one was on the list. Right, yeah. I mean, no, no, of no other adventurers. It's, 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 but the, the, many adventurers is is come down and they go the other way with the skeletonies, um, to the ah. goblinses. They don't come through Cobo time places. Hey, where is Erky Timbers? Erky Timbers was captured with the Cobaltes. I don't know why she's decided to say Cobaltes as well, but uh, what did you say, uh, Theodore's? I said, are they all called Tony? Skeletonies. Oh, I don't know. There are lots of coffinses. <laughs> Big scary Skelly faces. Bobs. Ooh, scary noises. You know? I don't like ghosts. Okay. Meepo, go home? Yes. Meepo, yes. go home. Bye. Thank you, Meepo. Bye-bye. <laughs> he runs off. <laughs> Scurries back to his little town. So, we have... An option of a way out now, it seems. Shall we make sure that way clear, way is clear first, just in case? Probably a good idea. As far as you know, the way out was to the east. So, if I go back into this room, it was here. Yep. Okay, so... this door right here. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh so when we get to when we get up to this way, uh I wanna take a pick it did, the door wasn't shut where the dragon was, right? No, but uh after she's done a little bit of raging she's curled up behind her table again. You do notice that on the table are some expensive looking goods. Um in fact you see um, a dragon-shaped jade figurine, a crystal goblet, 24 pieces of silverware, um, and a strange scroll case carved of bone with an inscription upon it. All upon the table. Um, just for reference, the table is, uh, there. That doesn't look much like a table, does it? But apparently that's where it is. Oh, I couldn't see a there, so... Oh, I'm pinging on the wrong screen. Sorry. That one? No. It's this circular thing in the middle of the room. Ah, okay. I think she's, like, gathered bits of treasure in front of her. Ah, yeah. Okay. But she's all curled up again. I'm chilling. Well, I'm most certainly not going to try to sneak in. That would be a bad idea. Bellador's thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm Good not like surprised. It. What are the odds? I'm gonna, Not amazing, but I'm gonna I... look. I'm gonna look at that treasure, and I'm gonna look at the group, and I'm gonna look at the treasure, and then I'm gonna look at the group, and then I'm gonna look back at the treasure. Back no. At the and be like, no. But what if? What no. if I could do this? No. And I will put no. my hand on my chest, and I will disappear. No. No. As I cast invisibility on myself. Okay. That noise is still a terrible idea. Hey, did you know that dragons can detect magic? That's a pretty cool, neat bit of inter intelligence for you. What if I'm real quiet? Real quiet. Also, can't some dragons see invisible creatures? <laughs> that do. Yep. <laughs> Belenor doesn't know that. Belenor does not know that. I'm gonna, He's better than already gonna try. I'm gonna start walking into that room. Okay, go ahead, give me a stealth check. Uh, has he gone in the room yet? We'll let him go. I'll give you a stealth check. Give me a stealth check. That is a natural 20 for a 25. Okay. You go in. I'm gonna walk in there up to the table. Mm hmm. And I'm gonna grab the scroll. The scroll case? Mm hmm. One eye. Like the dragon, it just sort of follows your movement in the room. She looks at you and... Oh, she 
And then she turns her head very slowly towards you. Thief. You want it? I'll give you a deal. Get me out of this hellhole! No dragon should be kept up in here like a pet. And you may take this pitiful treasure. I will pillage villages instead. I like where this is going. What villages are you thinking? I don't care. All of them! My father was Oronthator, the Great White Death himself. Mm. Get me Do you out mind of here. if I, if I converse with my friends about this first, then we can figure this one out? Yeah. Uh, yeah I'll put it back on the. Instead, it puts a. Cl- she puts sort of puts a claw through your tunic. You may call to them. I'm gonna. Uh, uncast invisibility. <laughs> yes, true sight is unfortunately a thing. <laughs> yes, I, I, I knew it was, but I knew that Belinor would have no idea. So mm-hmm. I'll turn and look and be like, "Hey guys, Dragon has a task for us. Is one come in here and talk with the the dragon?" <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> I sure I as hell do not. Dragon. She looks over your shoulder, sort of through the doorway. Um, I think Hello. she can see Theodore. Oh, she can see Kai as well, yep. Um, mm. I walked in. Oh, sorry, I missed that bit. Um, she looks at you and... Mm. Hello. She gestures towards the doorways. and These narrow corridors are designed for pitiful, puny beings like yourselves. Since How did I, you get in here? I was smaller! How long have you been here? Mm. Seventeen goblins ago. Like you killed them, or I ate them. Goblins. Okay, that doesn't really help. Were you smaller before? Like I was smaller before I came in, and then I ate the goblins, and then I grew like all dragons should. But I know that's how dragons work. Didn't think about the doorway. These hmm. doors are well made, and they will damage my bones if I break my way out. But you, and he looks at, uh, she looks at Thornham. You, one of those dwarves, little builders, aren't you? Delvers and builders always crack, crack with your hammers on the walls. You can widen these passages for me, and I will make my escape, and you may take this pitiful treasure and your lives as reward. Hmm. What are you guys thinking? You're talking like you have a choice. And with this, she sort of preens upwards, and you see her huge teeth. I'm not really seeing why we can't do this. Since she's gonna pillage villages if we let her out. Well, she could pillage us right now. That's fair. Just trying to work out if you could sit up. Maybe. Yeah, why not? You know, I, I see no issues with it. Let's just, you know, flutter out. I am willing to wait until you've cleared your passage through. I know that these little goblins can be terribly annoying with their little stickers. Yeah. Would you mind uh, eating a few of them if they come by? Perhaps I will lift my claws to help you if they enter my domain. We'll try not to bother you any longer, but, you know, just in case. You may pass. Alright, we'll clear the way for you. Yes. Good little puny humans doing the work as they should. I don't think any of us are humans, but... Well, she don't care. Well, we're gonna, you know, go, go do that thing. Right. You should do that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Mrs. Dragon. Uh, which way are we going? Are we going out this door or this door? Because there are two options. We just go all Shouldn't all we go to the door that's got all the goblins' chatter? 
Uh, no, you uh, no. need to exit to the east. The dragon. Oh, did she look at all injured? No. Okay. Um, yeah, but we, like, if we start, you know, bulldozing that door down for her to escape, the goblins is, are going to notice, so we might as well take the goblins is, is out now. Uh, yes, I, I just, uh, Thornham had talked about clearing the way to the exit first before clearing the rest of the area. An alternative. She did say she would attack things if they came, so we could work on the door and they could get their ass whooped by a dragon. Indeed, open the path to the goblins. But she has told you you must to clear the exit first. Does the dragon know where the exit is, though? That's yes. the thing. We could say any path is an exit, right? The we have a the exit is. lot of uh, doors to, break, to, to go through, so it's not going to be um, dragon. I forgot not a quick and easy one. Alright, well, okay, in that case, we should uh, consider this door. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. 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 Moon, Moon's asking the dragon something. Sorry, Moon, I didn't catch any of it. What did you say? Uh, I just said I wanted to ask the dragon something. Oh, yeah. Um, did you see any adventurers in here? Mm. Come through here? Many adventurers. I ate one a while back. Um, uh, there was... Oh, no. Uh, there was a brother and sister with strange, nasty magic stayed away from them. Um, uh, but... would that sound <laughs> familiar? Or no? Yes, yes, those are the Hookreels. Um, they went to the where, Druid. Where did they go? To the Druid. Druid? What is, what is the Druid? I don't Who know. The goblins talk about the druid downstairs. I don't know. Oh, son of a bitch. Not in my interest going further into this deep cavern. That's okay. That's more than enough. There's a nasty man with a cold weapon. Seems to be a lot of nasty things. Ah, they're all nasty to this little hellhole. We'll get you out of this nasty place. Don't you worry about it. Good. Little white death will become big white death. Hopefully, as long as you can keep the death away from us. Mm. Just remember we helped. I will remember you, little gnome. Maybe one day I shall allow you to cower in my presence and bask in my glory when I am my full size. Well, I would size. love to come bask in your glory. Mm. I imagine you would. I just love nature. Are you going to go through that door? I need the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm letting them decide what they want to do. Great, but I, I, I need the bathroom. We'll be right back in a moment. <laughs>
Hello, welcome back. Um, so, as uh, I think we all stand outside the Room of the Dragon, are we going to clear the way to the exit? Are we going to proceed deeper into the dungeon where the sounds of all the, lo all the goblins are coming from? Or are we going to flee with our tails behind our legs back to Kobold Land? Or perhaps are we going to go and massacre the kobolds? What's the plan? I personally would like to go through this door. I okay. think we everyone else, sorry. I think we go through this door. I think that we go find the druid. Um, for them, as you open this door, you see that it is mostly empty. Um, nice. However, there are some crates in here. Uh, it appears to be a pantry. The north and south walls of this chamber are stacked halfway to the ceiling with ill-made barrels, boxes, and crates. Uh, there is clear access to the other side, and here you find water, wine, and food, none of which is any good. Um, the stockpile includes five points of oil, along with a small, f a few small barrels labelled Elf Pudding in Goblin. Um, here, through this door, you hear the noise of three goblins chatting to each other um, about what they're going to have for lunch. You hear the sound of somebody talking in Draconic and a weird song that both Theodore and Kai recognise to be in Nomish. Is it, um, is the song, um... No, it's uh, it's more a song to a gnomish god, um, begging for redemption, forgiveness, freedom, all of the above. Is it Madonna like a prayer? Yes. Um, and Theodore will start singing along. Life is indeed a mystery. I have a question. Yes, do you? The group that we're looking for. Uh, did any of them have a nine? No, you know the gnome to be uh, named Erky Timbers, or so you've been told, and the yeah, gnome was right. nothing to do with that group. Yeah, okay, right, that's fair. I just wanted to make sure that it was... Um... So, for reference, here you hear uh, three goblins, or two or three goblins, you think, uh, talking about what they're going to have for lunch. From down the hallway comes a song in Nomish and some chatter in Draconic. My dear. This it's door is hard. feeble and it. wooden. Uh, sorry, Theodore, you said? I said I'm being serious, by the way. Theodore's singing along. Okay. <laughs> um, in that case, uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Come on, his singing's not that bad. Um, oh, fuck me, what room are we in? It's 33. That's a lot of rooms. You've already done, like, half of them. Okay, um, three goblins uh, stand in this chamber, looking out over what appears to be a sort of wall. Um, this is from what you can see, there is a door behind them to the north, uh, and they all have bows and spears. Uh, is that right? Sorry, bows and scimitars. Um, Thornum, you've got a five on initiative, correct? Uh, yeah. Belenor got an eleven, and Theodore got a seventeen, correct? Yes. Okay, Kai, I had yours already. Um, uh, the goblin who opened the door will immediately step through and bash Thornum in the face of the scimitar, going, Humans not welcome in here, in goblin. I don't know if you speak goblin, but somebody else will inform you. I uh, do. Uh, cool. Uh, that'll be a 10 to hit you, Thornum. That will not hit me. Didn't think so. Theodore, you're up. Okay, I'll move here, and I'll bash this goblin zizzizz. Mm hmm. This is not 20. Sick! Ooh! Or 28. It's a 19 bludgeoning damage. Okay. He is not happy about that. He looks injured. And then Sarah will fire a beam at him. How rude! Uh, that's a 19. Battle hit! And that is 9 fast damage. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, that will kill him. Um, Let's as fucking go. Sarah beams him down. Uh, does that conclude your turn? Okay, uh, the other two rush through. Um, and both of them will take their swings at Theodore as they see the lives of their comrade on, uh, their comrade lying upon the floor. Uh, one of them will get an 18 to hit you. Yes? Josh, you are unmuting your microphone halfway through your sentence, and I'm getting up. Yes. Thank you. 
Okay. <laughs> um, four slashing damage to you. And the other will get a seven to hit you, which will miss. Um, Bellinor, you're up. I will pull out my crossbow. And then I'll step back a little bit. And then I will take a shot at the goblin on the... Boom! Well, to hit! That is a 17 to hit. That'll hit! Go ahead and give me some damage. That is 11 damage. Okay, he doesn't like that. He is unhappy. And then I will turn and I'll look at Thornum. And I'll say... May your blade pierce as well as mine. Arrow. There we go. Man's shooting arrows out of a crossbow. Kai, you're up! My bolt. <laughs> God, this thing he sounds like it comes straight from Stellaris. It's so good. Yeah, I've clicked the wrong track, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, two of them. Uh, they took a full 11 damage from the crossbow and don't seem to be injured, though. Well, I mean, he's wounded, but he's not like, ah, wounded. Uh, I'm going to Binding Vine, the non-wounded one. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a strength save, correct? Yeah. Oh, he makes that a disadvantage. How depressing. Is this strength hit DC what I'm supposed to use, or should I be using my DC? It's your DC. I don't know why it shows some okay. random DC. I just um, wanted to make sure. Nevertheless, he got a five. Well, that's not going to cut it. He is now grasped with the vines and restrained. Sick. Uh, four nam. Yes. Uh, you have one unwounded restrained goblin and one wounded, somewhat wounded. He has been hit. Uh, goblin hey. who is not restrained. Uh, it is the goblin in front of you that is not restrained and is somewhat wounded. The wounded one, I <laughs> shall make a great weapon master attack against that. I okay. have inspiration, so I shall take a swing for great axe. Oh, aye, that you should. That is going to be a 16 to hit before Bardic. Hit. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be this damage plus 10. That's 25 damage. Yeah, he is radomificated. And as a result of that hit... I shall use my great weapon master feat again. I used so to reach zero action, hit yeah. points, so I'll make a melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Mm. This one will also be very much the same. And it will a be an advantage because it's restrained. Big fucking hit with a plus 10 damage and a minus 5 to hit. Uh, 13, I'll use my bardic to improve that. That's a 14. A 14 will hit. Go ahead and give me damage. That is 21 damage. He's severely wounded. Oh, uh, <laughs> can, can he make a... For one damage, might he make a constitution saving throw? Why is he making a con save? Uh, because of my motive potential. Okay. Uh, 20? He succeeds. Cool. Um, does he take half of that one, or just none? No. None. Okay, Thornum, end your turn. Yeah, that is going to be... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up here so I've made a little bit more yep. space. And then I Fair door. You're up. The goblin appears severely wounded. Theodore. Yeah? Goblin, severely oh. wounded, right in front of you. Stop watching TikTok. I'm not watching TikTok. Or whatever noise was coming out of your phone when you started talking. Go! Kill it! Not, I was singing. Hit it. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> With advantage. Such a, such a, such a mood killer. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's, what's 17 plus 8? That's 25. 25. That'll 25. hit. Do you want to roll again just to see if you can get a crit with that? Yeah, He's gone. dead. Yeah, that's not any higher. That's nine force damage, and then Sarah will fire a beam. Uh, uh, it's, he was dead! So? 
Sarah's just beaming his corpse because she can't. Oh, she feels left out. Okay. What he means is he doesn't want to feel stupid. Uh, 100 and, 150 party. XP each. Woo. Um, and these goblins carry upon them a hunting trap each. Or hunter's trap, I think it might be. Hmm. Uh, when you step in here, you notice that there is a sort of barricade here, uh, which they would normally have fired over as you see three archery targets at the end of the corridor. Arrows lie strewn across the floor. Are there any rooms that don't have additional doors on? It's no. One bit maze. Not really. I have an idea, guys. Uh, those are hunting traps. They are. Uh, yeah. You know there was that other door where we knew there was plenty of goblins behind? We could try to set up the traps in such a way that they block off the door. We open the door, lure the goblins out to us, and just watch them as they get as they walk into the traps and just get their legs munched. I used Number one. that we parent trap this bitch. First, why are we going to that room? Because that's the uh, way the druid is? Yeah, I was thinking that might be that might be where the druid is if we're looking for him. I thought he, I thought this was the fr the other floor and that the druid was down a floor. Yeah, the, the druid is down a floor, and you have been told that to the northwest is where the exit is, uh, <laughs> to go down, to go down. The exit yeah, out is part. east. Um, anyway, regardless, you do hear a gnomish song coming from behind this door, and some chattering. Anyways, number two. Uh, go ahead. Uh, number two is, uh, do they not have fucking eyes to see the traps on their phone? Do they maybe not paying attention to the floor when they see us and come charging towards us? It may be worth a shot. I mean, I guess. It's better than nothing, right? Perhaps. I suppose. It's just a thought. Everyone Might be worth a try. Yeah, I guess. It wouldn't hurt anything unless it gets in our way. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. I just hear that coming from the goblin I'm behind the wall. Just pick up to just imagine Kai drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we going, guys? Are we moving, or are we just going to stand yeah, there clapping on us? I don't know. There's a goblin. Can we there's... Not discuss things? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you can, but like it's it seems a very redundant conversation to have here of all places, right? Mm. Like. It's a long yeah. way back and round a corner and in somewhere totally different. And there's this gnome just singing around behind this door. Uh, the, the door appears locked. Singing with more of my singing. Okay. Uh, the door appears locked. Um, the key, however, to the lock is upon the goblins that you just slayed. Uh, hey. Each one of them has a key ring at his waist with a single key upon it that looks like it fits this door. I'm going to stick the key in the door and I'm going to open the door. Sick. Um, and you're immediately greeted by a... Nope, I didn't mean to take him out. Uh, by three cobbles. Who look at you and begin to chatter wildly in Draconic. Yes, I never speak that. <laughs> that's probably why it was gobbledygook. Yeah, that's the, I'm, gonna say, I'm saying that to them. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's Jamal, it's Draconic. We, we, we uh, friendly? Yeah, we got, we were sent here to rescue the dragon. And <gasps> Calstrix, oh, Calstrix friend. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. English, it's salty. Um, these three cobbles are bound together with a crude rope to an iron spike in the corner of the room. Uh, squalor reigns in this low ceilinged room and the large iron spike is driven into the floor near the door. At the back is a small iron cage set on the ground. Several sets of corroded manacles are connected to the walls, and some still bind a few crumbling skeletons. Inside the cage is a gnome who was singing, but as he sees you, he calls out immediately in gnomish, um, not to Belenor, but to one of his one of the gnomes. Um, friends, have you? Um. So long since I saw her. Oh, a friendly face. Do you think you can get me out? We have other things to do first. What? We can if you ask. He has asked. 
No, he's just stated. He said, can you get me out? Yeah, we could if you want. I'm, I'm going uh, to ignore that. I don't think that's in character for um, Theodore in the slightest. Uh, um, there's a gnome locked in a cage. You're going to leave him there until you're done? All right. Um, Save his place. I thought he meant get him out of the. I thought he meant get him out of the whole dungeon, not just get him out of oh, there. No, no, get him out the little cage that he's in. Yeah, that's fine. He's very sad. Uh, yeah. Um. This cage. Uh. Is it locked in some way, uh, or yeah, is it? Um... It uh, looks like that. I posted in the Forgotten Realms chat. Um. He's barred ah. with iron bars. Um. You think that you could either bend the bars away or possibly uh, break, uh, unlock the lock with thieves' tools. Uh, your choice. Mm, I think I'll just use my brute force strength to just mm -hmm. start bending and breaking bars. Give me bars. a strength check, please. Give it guidance. With guidance? That's a 21 before guidance. Guidance is d4. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a 22. As you bend these bars oh. back, the gnome clambers out and looks around and then pulls himself sort of straight up and... Hey, easy now, easy now. Hey, Hold up in, a, in an awkward position for a while. Take it easy. Huh. Hey. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't thank us yet. We've, we, we're yet to get you out of here. Hey, I'm... Um, you, uh, killed any goblins on the way in? A few. They got any gear? You think you're in um, a condition to use a weapon? Oh, yeah. I would love to get my revenge. Months I passed. Say we picked up any of it. No, but you've got go some dead ones just outside, right? Is what he's replying. Yeah, yeah sure. Guys outside have got a weapon, but, um, yeah, just take it easy. Probably Months passed. From that. I was on my way to seek my fortune and took the old road. My bad luck, the goblin bandits caught me. Been here ever since. But don't worry, my dad. Oh, I don't know, four, five, six months. It all blends into one. Jesus. Uh, a lot of nights in the dark. But my deity kept me healthy. Here, otherwise, I'm sure I'd have been dead from starvation and abuse. But, uh, my god speaks well through me. I'm sure that she might offer some assistance to you, too. If you'll take me. We need to get you oh to the surface. God. We're getting you out of here, right? Oh, by the way, for unlocking him, you each gain 50 XP. Did you say 50? I did say 50. Not bad. Not bad. Level 5. Just kidding. <laughs> that would have been quick. Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he'd like to come with you if you'll take him. Uh, sure. yeah. Uh, that priority is going to be getting him to the surface, so... Did we ask him how long he's been locked up? I didn't. I forgot. At least three months, possibly up to six. Okay. Have you happened to see anything, or were you just locked in this room and couldn't see anything ever? I've seen or many things. Anything? What sort of things are you asking about? Uh, we're looking for uh, two siblings that I can literally never remember the name of. Talgon and Shawin? Yeah, the goblins yes. caught three of them over a month ago. They were captives with me here for a while. Um, and Sir Bradford as well. Um, they're only about a week, though. Apparently, Belak wanted them. He, uh, some of the oh, goblins God. refer to him as the Druid. That's the last I've heard but, about that. Yeah, those are the guys we're looking for. Aye, the Druid down right. below, a wicked old human. He's a spellcaster, I suspect. Apparently, he tends an enchanted garden and harvests fruit from something the goblins call the Gull Fire Tree. But they speak of it only in the most terrified of whispers. The enchanted fruit grows on the Gull Fire Tree. They call it the Twilight Why does it sound Grove, familiarly don't like the apples we were hearing about? Ah, indeed. Poisoned apples in the winter and healing apples in the summer. A spirit of vigor to those who eat it, from what I've he heard. Pale midwinter fruit seals the same. Balak allows the goblins to sell the fruit on the surface. I don't know why. Well, that I'm answers a, that quick curiosity. And we just paste that fucking wall of text there, just in yeah, case you guys want to recap. Shit. Um, just in case you want to recap anything there. Yeah, thanks. Um, also, uh, if you will allow him to join you, uh, Salty, uh, go ahead, go to your extras. 
Ooh, more of those. Let's go. Um, go to sidekick and then untick filter using sidekick rules. Mm -hmm. And click Erky Timbers. Uh, yeah. Timbers uh, is a longer session today. What are we going to? Uh, 40 minutes or so. Is that with a... That's not a longer session. What? No, it's just we normally squeeze because... Lunch. Is that oh, with okay. a wash? I'm just curious. Something? That's all. Sorry. How do you, how do you spell Erky Timbers? E R K Y. E R K Y. Okay. Yeah, and then just uh, unfilter using psychic rules and you'll be able to see him. Yeah? Uh, yep. He's okay, cool. Added. Uh, go ahead and add him. Uh, he's a little under leveled uh, because he's shit. Uh, but he's there. Hey, he can stab me, stab some goblins. Uh, actually, I think he can heal, heal some friends. I think that's what yeah. he does. Yes. <laughs> He's an acolyte. A priest. A goblino. Uh, meanwhile, these three kobolds have looked at you and uh, yabbled a bit in Draconic and then uh, yabbled a bit more and then ran the fuck off. Right. Shall we then head to this, uh, head back to the goblins, I guess? Yeah. Uh, Erky tells you, uh, just around the corner there are some goblins who, uh, they keep guard of the passageway through. There's a little gauntlet trapped with caltrops. It leads towards the exit, as far as I know. Uh, if you want to clear the way in advance, uh, we could go that way, though. We do need to be careful. Uh, apparently there's some beastly giant rat called Goldfash. Apparently all the rats here are descendants of him. Oh, what the... That sounds a little bit, um... Messed up. Is that round this corner here, or is that no? That door that some somewhere right further on. I haven't been any further, but round this corner here, and he'll sort of point you at this bit here. Yeah. yeah. Um, he says, uh, "Yeah, round this corner, uh, there's a there's a thing with a thing with a thing. Um, yeah. Round this corner, there is a uh, some goblins uh, protecting the way through. I'm sorry, I'm trying to edit something else. Just bear with me a second while I go That's find fair. Erky Timbers. Um, Edit can be edited and controlled by. You've changed your name, you sad shit. Huh. Um. You Bloody should be able to all. drag Erky onto the uh. Onto the screen now, salty. Yeah, I can. Where is he? Uh, give me a second. Uh, right here. Okay. Cool. Uh. Yeah, he doesn't have his own vision, though, so he'll be relying on yours. Um, cool. Um, yeah, he's told you that just round here, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that ping from where you are, um, there's some goblins that keep guard, and they may uh, they may come up behind you if you don't clear them out first. Let's go get them. Yeah. He says, uh, perhaps a quiet approach will be... Never mind! Roll initiative! <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was, uh... And, and they're dead! <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, you see three goblins standing there. Um, uh, oh, there's too many, many things, too many, many things, too many, many things, too many things, too many, many things. Uh, 32. Come on, load, please. Uh, yeah, you see two armored goblins with sort of, like, pig stickery daggers. And a, uh, and two regular goblins, uh, with bows. Um, I need to double check initiatives. I got a 12 for Theodore, a 13 for Bellinor, a 10 for Thornum, and I didn't get Kai's. Sorry. That's right. I didn't hear the initiative oh, call. Oh, good. Oh, 13. Okay. Um, as uh, Theodore just decided to walk straight in, the archer will shoot him with a bow on his way in. Um, it's not very nice. 14 to hit? No. Okay, cool. Uh, Bellinor, you're up. I'm going to peek my head up around the corner. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I guess keep going right on through all the all of them right there. And I'm going to look at these guys and be like, oh shit. And then I'm going to pull out my, my loot and I'll strum it as a spot right in the middle of all of them without a shrieking noise as I cast Shatter on all of them. What's the radius in Shatter? Go ahead and see whether you can put it on the board without hitting yourself. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, give me the damage first, please. 
the damage is 13. Okay, cool. Uh, that makes my life easier. Um, uh, the two archers remain. Um, let's see how damaged they are as they all make oh, contact. Um, an 18 and 11, so one will take 13 and one will take 6. Cool. Uh, they appear mildly annoyed. Uh, does that conclude your turn, Belenor? Uh, I will turn to Theodore and I will say, smack them hard with that mom of yours. How many fucking bardic inspirations do you get? Uh, I have five. five I've used four. That's a lot, isn't it? Uh, Kai, you're up. Uh, how many of us are looking injured? Party members. At all. Yeah, of us. Um, I think most of you have temp HP. Uh, but underneath that, uh, Thornum is mildly injured. Um, Belenor has been hit, but nobody's below, like, 80%. Okay, no big deal then. Never mind. Um, mm -hmm. I really wish I had a damage in cantrip. Uh, also, just a shout, um, well, you're the one who said you were happy to drop it for the other Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but now, but now I've had no reason to not use it. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you realize, but the enhanced weapon is a ranged spell. Yeah, I 30 know. yards, yeah. It was just, I was on top of his face. Yeah, no, that's fine. Nice I'm just making sure you're aware of it. Yeah. Um, they're not, they're, how much damage did he do? And they look just kind of annoyed? A 13 and a 6. And they just like, look annoyed? Yeah. Okay, the guy who's hurt a little more, I'm going to guiding bolt him. Sick. Um, yeah, go ahead, we'll see it. Uh, 14? Mm -hmm. Maybe? That'll hit. Oh, shit. Just about. Oh, that's a terrible roll, but 16 damage? Oh, that is exactsies. Uh, <laughs> that is absolute exactsies dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. Right. He's dead. Fuck him. Yeah, cool. Uh, does that conclude your turn? Yeah. Theodore. Okay, I, I will walk up to Cigar Smoking Goblin. <laughs> yeah, he is. he's one of those. I will hit him. Uh, that's a, a 25. Oh, yeah. Um, that's 12 bludgeoning damage. He's injured. Um, and then uh, Sarah will fire a beam. Uh, that's 14. To hit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll hit. And that's four force damage. Cool. Um, he is still injured. Armored. What? He is injured. Okay. Uh, Thorn Am. Okay, I shall, uh, stroll on into the room. Sick. Let's, um, take a mighty old swing at him with my great axe. Mm hmm Uh, I'm not gonna do it with a minus to hit, minus five to hit. I'll just do it as a regular. Yeah, just go ahead and swing. Uh, this isn't flanking, is it, for this? This is just no. a normal straight hit, isn't it? Yeah. Just give me a head run. Yeah, that's 17 to hit. Good thing bounces. I chose that. Uh, yep, go ahead to give me damage. That's going to be 15 damage. He is dead. Um, Wonderful. Uh, you may each take uh, 150 XP. Um, and more interestingly... Um, Shit. you find putrid Please? jerky, vinegary wine, and poorly preserved water skins, other worthless bits of clutter, and four rusty short swords and bows. Huh. Um, Erky will go ahead and pick up a rusty short sword, um, and a short bow and some arrows, um, and sort of equip himself just in case he needs them later on. Um... Just down here, uh, you'll be able to pick up 20 caltrops, if you wish, um, off the ground, as you see them quite clearly from this angle. I feel like that'll be handy. Uh, yeah, you also see a large sort of stone boulder, sort of wedged in, sort of just inside the door. It looks like if you were to open the door from the other side, the boulder would roll across the middle of the floor on a delay of some sort. 
So wait, which side did the, so the boulder's in front of the door? Right, uh, the boulder's yeah. down here. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 wedged so that if the door was pushed from the other side, the boulder would sort of take a moment and then start to roll down, realistically pushing into the back of anybody who burst through the door. Okay. Other than that, the room is pretty clear. Uh, you know the exit Sorry. to be in this direction, roughly. You also know that somewhere over there are some crypts, some skeletons, and possibly a giant rat who gave birth to all the rats in this place. Right. So, uh, shall we collect up the cow traps? 20. Bag of 20. Yeah, I'll just whack that in my inventory real quick then. Mm -hmm. 15 dB on all loading time. Right. One bag of the old cow traps. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. One goblin has a silver flask of dwarven make worth 50 gold pieces filled with go vile goblin wine. A what, sorry? A flask? A silver flask of dwarven make filled with vile goblin wine worth 50 gold pieces. It's okay. bad wine, but it's worth 50 gold. The wine's shit, but the flask is worth money. It's made of silver. Yeah, we'll grab the flask then. Cool, great. Anyone, uh, mind, anyone mind if I take that thing here? Yeah, fuck, I'll just keep it for safekeeping. We'll do it that later. Right, just customize this. There's your silver flask. Okay, so this boulder. Um, yeah, it's, move it. It's, you it don't in. need to. It's it's wedged to go off if you open the door from the other side. Right. So if I open the door from this side, it's totally fine. Yeah, it just right, stays okay. in place. Open the door from you can side. even pin the door open so that you can come back this way without it happening. Yeah. Okay. I'll um open the door and wedge it open then. Okay. Right. Shall we, people? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Um, a light wood framed door is in front of you here. Does it have any sort of locking mechanism nope. on it, or is it just Not at all. a push open? It's just a push open. And I shall open it. Okay. Let's go through. As you look directly in front of you, you see some crushed rubble. Um, bear with me a second. I need to move to a different area. Um, uh, as you look to the north, you see some cells with cell... Just move there for me. Um, you see some cells with cell doors looking open. Um, at the very end of the corridor, you see uh, a fountain that seems to have run dry. Um... It seems to glow strangely. The fountain is made of a carved dragon's mouth. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, there is a. It is an overarching diving dragon. The water seems to have once proceeded from the carved dragon's mouth. That's at the very end of the corridor, all the way up there. Um, as you uh, look to the right, you see another one, another fountain, uh, similar. Um, with a thin layer of scum coating the fountain's basin. Dust and odd bits of stony debris and rubble uh, sca are scattered upon the floor, and the ornate fountain is built into the eastern wall. Though cracked and stained, the fountain's overarching carving of a diving dragon retains its beauty, and a relief-carved stone stands on the western wall. Um, Kai, uh, can I take a perception check, please? And... No. Belenor, can I have an arcana check? Please, as you sense something strange about this fountain. 21. A 21, in fact, is a double victory. So, first of all, you notice a worn away inscription on Draconic on the basin's front, uh, in front of the, um, uh, in front of the fountain. It's in Draconic. Um, you also hear very, very gently in the background a sort of noise. Um, you think it may be from a corridor further down. I will inform everyone of both of these things. Hmm. 19. Uh, yeah, uh, there is definitely some magic emitting from the actual fountain. Both fountains, in fact. Um, this fountain down here emits a faint aura uh, of old magics. The uh, 
the inscription at the front of the fountain reads in draconic. Hey, Erky, do you happen to speak any draconic? Uh, I think you can tell me more easily than I can tell you. He does. No, no, he does, he does, he does speak draconic. Does he? Why? I don't know, he speaks draconic, gnomish, goblin, and... You um... said he spoke draconic when we got him. He does, common draconic, gnomish, and goblin. He will say it, and he will look at it, and he says, It reads, let there be fire. And as he says this, the uh, dragon begins to spew reddish liquid from its mouth, accumulating in the basin. Uh, I'll piggyback off your previous arcana check. The liquid looks like it may be some sort of magical I, uh, magical liquid. Uh, perhaps you could fill a flask with it. I'm going to fill a flask with it. Uh, go ahead and take a potion of fire breath. Oh, that's so dirty. Uh. Nice. Um, he says, if you can't read Draconic, you won't be able to read what it says on this door. And he points to the door over here. And he what says, it say? uh, it says, <laughs> rebuke the dead to open the way. Wait, can't we just farm a fire breathing potion? No, the magic seems to have gone dead after that. Huh, it's a one time okay. use. Rebuke the dead, interesting, interesting. What does that mean? Would I have any idea what that might mean? Erky, you're a priest. Do you have any idea? Uh, Channel your divinity, maybe? I can channel my divine powers to turn the undead. Do you think that would be helpful here? Seems to be I... verbatim what it says. He holds out his holy symbol to the door and... Turn fast, skeletons and undead beyond! You cannot stand the wrath of my gnomish god! And a light stands forward. Um, I have no idea the name of a Domish god, otherwise I would have included it in that little bit of text. Um, and uh, the door will swing open. And I can't tell you what it says because Jerry. I'm not there. Hold, hold, don't walk in. Uh, stay, the door stay, bitch, stay. I don't know what fucking number this room is. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, if you don't stop. <laughs> oh, here we go. Five dusty sarcophagi, three to the north and two to the south, stand on end in this silent chamber. Each nice. of the carved stone coffins resembled a noble elf-like humanoid in ceremonial robes. An altar with images of dragons carved into its black obsidian is set in the centre of the west wall. A single candle burns brightly upon the altar. Next to the candle, a small whistle and a crystal flask. Five sarcophagi. I don't like this room. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's too valuable in there. Mm, the whistle is made of crystal, as is the flask. Go okay. get it, Mr. I want the treasure, Bellana. Who disturbs the dead? Disturbs. And with, and with that, five skeletons uh, will appear out of their sarcophagi, respectively, and rush at you. Um, and I think this is probably the combat in which we will finish today's session, so go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. The D&D Beyond is a piece of shit. What the fuck? That's not about that. I roll my dice. Just refuse to let me roll my dice. A three. Six. Okay, well, that's sort of flavorful, but from where you're standing right now. Uh, by the way, uh, Balanor, um, Erky will piggyback your initiative. Yeah, thank you. Um, is your first in the room. A... Why can't I control this? Uh, a skeleton wearing uh, remnants of armor across its chest will move towards you, clanking and bustling, and will swing right. down with a short sword and then try and bash you with his shield. Um, the short sword is a 18 to hit you. That will hit. 
you will take six piercing damage. And then he will follow through with a bash of the shield for 12 to hit you. Uh, that will not hit me. And what I will do as a reaction to that is a repost. Uh -huh. I will expend a superiority die. Yep. And I will make a melee weapon attack against it. Uh, it attacks Okay, so this is going to be a positive great axe. That's a 23 to hit. Mm-hmm. Twill hit, twill hit. A 7 damage great axe hit. Nice. An 8 extra damage from the superior dice. That's 15 damage. As you swing your axe in retort, he falls to the ground dead. As his sword clatters out his hand, you notice it glows with a strange magic. Does that conclude your turn? It is not your turn. It, it concludes his turn. turn. No, Theodore, reaction. <laughs> you are up. Um, okay. No. Uh, five, ten, ten. <clears throat> I will uh, swing at this skeleton. Eh? Okay. Uh, that's a 25 to hit. That will most definitely hit. That's 13 bludgeoning damage. Oh, is it? It is dead. And then Sarah will move into the room and she'll fire a beam at this guy. Okay. This um, what if I that just sounds like a pasta. It smells like pasta? What? It sounds like a pasta. Oh, okay. Um, that's a 26 to hit. Fuck me. Yeah, that'll hit. And that's four force damage. Okay. Yeah, she's got, a, she's got a plus seven. I've got a plus eight to hit. Nice. Um, the one that you just fired at will launch forward at you. Um, and he sort of lurches. And he attempts to bash you with his shield. It's a 21 to bash you. I didn't hit him, I hit his friend. No, no, but uh, that is... Oh, okay, fine. Well, whatever. That guy, who I've just pointed to, is going to uh, launch at you. Yeah, okay, um, that is six bludgeoning damage, and you must make a strength save. That's an eight. Uh, that is a fail. You will be knocked prone, so his next attack will be at advantage. Um, however, a 15 misses you. No, a 15 hits, right? 15 hits. 15 hits. Uh, you will take 6 piercing damage. Uh, Thorn Am. Yes. Your turn. Okay, uh, uh, which one did Theo hit? This one. The top one. Yeah, well, technically Sarah hit it. Theo, Theo killed one. Right, okay. Then I'll... I'll stroll up and I'll swing at the one that Theo did not hit. Okay. Just for the time being. The one that hit uh, him, yeah. Yeah, I shall uh, swang with my great axe. Okay. Great weapon master or no? Yeah, I am going to with great okay. weapon master actually, yeah. That's going to be a 10 to hit. That'll miss, I'm afraid. Yeah, oof. He'll repost uh, you with a yeah, great okay. axe. No, he won't really. Uh, huh? <laughs> I said he'll repost you with a great axe and I said no, he won't really. Um, does that yeah, conclude that your turn, Thornton? Um, yeah, yeah. Belenor. <coughs> I thought this combat was a lot more deadly. Well, we won't end on this one. We'll end on the next one. I'll, uh, get on into the room and get myself right in front of Theodore. Yep. And to one above me, I will swing at with my right beer. Yep. That is a natural 20 for a 26. Yep. Ooh. Yep. That is 16 damage. Uh-huh. Uh, that it is a kill. Nice. And then to the one diagonal of me, I will swing out with my short sword. Mm-hmm. That is... I shit you not another nat 20. Nice. Are you fucking serious? Holy fuck. But I, I don't get proficiency on this one, so... That's six damage. Yep. Okay. And that is my turn. Uh, the one you just hit will hit you back. Oh, come on, Leon, Leon. Don't do that to me. I don't need to refresh right now. Um, Bish. 24 to hit you. Not 20. Oh! Wow. 
He didn't like your nat 20. Okay. This is where we say goodbye to Bellinor. Seven. No. <laughs> oh no, Bellinor. Oh. Also, it wasn't his turn. What do you mean? Oh, did you set up a bonus action? No, it's you used an action and a bonus action. Oh, fuck Erky. Erky. No one gives a shit. Um, he can go now. Erky's gonna walk into the room. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at his character sheet to make sure I get this right. And he is going to cast... A cantrip, right? He is going to cast... Sacred Flame. Yeah, cool. Um, Dex save is 11. I have no idea what the... Uh, that, that fails, but I have no idea what... <laughs> uh, 1d8. Radiant. Eight. Four damage. Nice. He's still standing. Kai, you're up. Uh, two skeletons, wounded but not dead, stand in the room. Hold on, I forgot to look at the map this whole time. It's okay. You can just sort of tell me what you want to do to them. Massacre them. Murder them. Save them. No, oh, Go for the kills. He can't. He doesn't have any damage. Let's use the spell slot, which he doesn't want to do. Oh, can't even do it with a cantrip? Fuck. No, he's got cantrips that buff you guys. Damaging. I have no damaging cantrips anymore. We have removed some my um, sacred flame from me. To give me oh, better no. cantrips. Yeah, no, it's interesting, because oh, he's oh, now got no, a restrain no. and damage on your weapons. Okay. Listen, uh... We'll kill us one damage. <laughs> Listen, Jamal. Yeah, I'm sorry. Your the one fucking enhanced weapon I gave to you did more damage than every sacred flame I find. <laughs> oh campaign. my god, yeah, you're right. True That's story. That's so brutal. <laughs> so... Uh, Kai, what you doing? <laughs> He's so sad thinking about that now. It's like, uh, you can just walk oh. up and punch something, right? It's fine, yeah, they won't kill you. Plan. That's what I plan on doing. I'm gonna run up to one of them and beat him in the fucking face. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, roll the hit. Well, this sound, this is a terrible idea that I'm looking. What are you hitting him with? Oh well, my mace. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh my God, D and D Beyond, please. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh well, I just removed my mace though. So. Not happy. Oh. Uh, yeah, don't remove your mace. Yeah, that happened. You can just roll me a straight d20 if you want. I'll jump out of there. I'm just trying to roll you fucking anything at this point. <laughs> oh, I fucking crit him! Nice! <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Uh. Mason's damage is it's a d6, right? Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me a 2d6. I believe it's a minus 1 because you have minus 1 to your strength. That's minus 1. Oh my god, and I hit him for 12 damage. 11, right? Bro. Yeah, 11. Mm-hmm. Three max damage, or max hits in a row. Uh, Fucking god. His dice might take long, but they're good at what they do. Uh, he is yeah. dead off. Um, does that conclude your turn, Kai? Yes. Theodore! You are up. There is one very wounded skeleton to your down left. There's a lot of combat. 16 to hit? Nah, uh, that'll miss, I'm afraid. Twenty-six to hit? That'll hit. That's five boss damage from Sarah. Nice, and that will conclude the combat. Um, oh my way. So, that is... 88 experience each. Ah, uh, hmm. yeah. I'll do that for that one, but the rest of the fight should really be less XP because Erky's with you. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, and upon the table, you see the crystalline flask and crystalline um, whistle, um, as well as a candle. Belain or give me an Arcana chick. And a 19. Kai, give me a perception check. A 19 will tell you that the candle has a continual flame spell cast upon it, and the flask is a potion of fire resistance. The whistle, however, you are unable to work out what it is. 23. Um, 
but uh, Thornon will recognise that it says uh, Caller of the Night in Dwarvish upon it, though that doesn't tell you anything right now. Um, Caller of the Night. Indeed. Uh, however, as Kai is having a look at this shrine, uh, she sees a secret compartment in the shrine uh, holding a coffer containing six peridot jewels carved peridot jewels carved in the likeness of a dragon. Each one is worth ten gold pieces. Um... I will tell you that it's a night caller, uh, but your characters will not be able to use it until you identify it on a short rest or with the spell identify. Uh, all of that information is pasted into chat. And I think we will end there, actually. Um, I think that is a good Before place to end. Before we end, the uh, skeleton swords, you said they were glowing, right? Uh, one is. Uh, one is a moon-touched scimitar. Oh. And in fact, in this skeletal chamber, you guys can probably go ahead and take a short rest. If you wish. Okay, I will take a short rest then. Because you are so closed off from everywhere else. Uh, does anyone in particular want that scimitar? Or I can hold it if nobody wants it. I mean... Yeah, good. Actually, do you know what, uh, guys? I'm just going to play through a couple of minutes. If you guys go ahead and open this door, and then you open this door, and then you open this door, and you walk all the way to the end, and you open this door, you'd walk into here, and you'd see an empty cage, and you'd see Meepo. Um, and you'd remember that this is where you were before. If you then wanted to go from here to here, you would realise that this is actually the exit to the dungeon. So you could technically go outside and have a long rest and carry on from where you were before. Does that make sense? So do, would we want to do yeah. that? I mean, I wouldn't want to leave purely off the fact that we still haven't completed the quest of finding... No, 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 obviously you guys are going to want to go going through. outside the long rest and then coming back in. Oh, yeah, that yeah, that, that works. Um, that but works. you've probably been in here like seven or eight hours. Um, yeah, You're probably okay, quite tired, so go ahead and it's take a long rest. rest here. And that is where we shall end. Umvup! Oscar. Um, I would give my MVP to our very, very sad cobalt boy. Meepo. Yeah. Yeah, he was sad. Poor Meepo. Um, Jamal. I... I'm gonna have to give this one to the conundrum of the dragon. Like, okay. as a character, Thorn very much does not want to release this dragon. Mm. Absolutely 100% does not, because that thing is evil as fuck. Oh, yeah. And would be very tempted to actually just try to kill the thing, but I know that's dangerous. Yes, perhaps if you can level up again when you're downstairs by the druid, you might kill it on your way back. <laughs> that is a thought. That is indeed a thought, but we will see. Um, Joosh? Um, mine would probably be... Um, the fact that the dragon was supposed to be... A guy? They made it a girl? No, it was meant to be a girl, and I started with it as a guy, because I was confused. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yet you still made it sound very butch. Because I thought it was a man until I read the text halfway through. Okay, okay this, dragon, <laughs> yeah. this dragon's a lesbian, never mind. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Dyke dragon. And Mon. Um, number one. Taking my damage cantrip away just to immediately get <laughs> do more damage with a buffing cantrip. Yeah, yeah. I just we, we decided it was more flavorful. Flavor. Yeah, it was more flavorful for Kai. It just made sense. Yeah. I, I don't think it doesn't make sense to have sacred flame either, but hmm, that's fair. Uh, it's just funny that it did more damage immediately than every sacred. Yeah, flame I mean to be fair, it was cold damage vs. fire <laughs> elemental. You know, it's a bit like using yeah. radiant damage on a skeleton, but yes. Um. And, um, everything's 50 gold. What about 25 gold? No, it's 50 gold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, my MVP goes to two of the antics of Belenor, uh, trying to barter with a kobold who's like, you're in my domain, all my guards are surrounding you. I said 50 gold, you're an idiot. Um, spending invisibility to walk into a dragon chamber to the dragon who... It literally says, there is no text about a perception check or anything. It says, if any of the treasure on the table is checked, the dragon responds. Uh, <laughs> it's touched, even. The dragon responds. Like, there's no there's no stipulation of anything at all. It didn't matter what you rolled. No. It was just, no, that's its treasure. Um, yeah, but uh, that amused me greatly. The conundrum of the dragon's brilliant, though, right? It's not... In the, in the text, it says the dragon attacks you. 
Um, I thought it'd be more fun if it threatened you first. Um, mostly because I've scaled it up. It's a wormling in the original dungeon. And I thought that was really I had a boring and you uninteresting. Scaled it up, yeah. um, I scaled up the whole dungeon. Um, not every single fight, but most of the fights have been scaled just minorly up. Otherwise, it would have been like 13 XP a fight. That would have been boring as hell. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, we saw the fight that I didn't scale up at the beginning when uh, Theodore just executed um, a combat on his own. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's uh, those are my MVPs. I think uh, I enjoyed this. Quite an I think conundrum you missed too, while you were gone. Oh, I could hear it. Ever. I could hear it. Yeah. All the discussion about is it evil? Is it not? It's like it threatened no, no, to no, pillage the village. The not is it evil? Is it not? Will it? Will we release it or not? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah. arguing whether it was. No, evil no, no, or no, 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 no. Um, we were discussing whether it would be an evil act. You were discussing whether it would be an evil act to release it. Mm. Um, you know, to let it pillage the village. Um, murder the birds. Uh, well, I think that is where we will end. Um, this guy would release it. Probably. That's fair. It's a nature thing. He would, re would release it for sure. Um, let's go see people painting miniatures. Why not? Uh, this is the okay. Gilded Troll. Um, they normally have great uh, campaign stuff going on. Uh, but right now it is... Um, why is my face frozen? Um, but right now they are painting miniatures. So let's go rate them and say That'll hello. give me so much anxiety to watch. Because I know my hands aren't steady enough to paint miniatures. <laughs> Oh. I, when, when you're saying your face is frozen, I was just thinking, what, did you Botox yourself spontaneously or something? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, so, if you guys would like to say goodbye. Goodbye. We Until shall next see time. you soon. Oh, I can't wait to get my level up. My